That music is so dramatic. <laughs> I legitimately just typed in tragedy for a playlist. Uh, let's see. Roddy, Nisa, Slim, Ern, Tiff. That image looks like pollen season. <laughs> Do you have really bad allergies? Victoria, what's up? April, howdy. Oh, what's up? Olaf? I was a radioactive Russian once. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be shocked. Of, speaking of radioactive looking things, that's what my monster energy cans look like. As green as my background. The drama. Tiff, do you have like really bad allergies and you live in like a real pollinated area? Getting sleepy with the music? <laughs> Man, this one says suspense. Oh no. Every, everything's depressing. Everything is depressing on... There, there you go. I, I went to my creepy playlist. Um, then I injected you with radioactive isotopes. This, see Taco, when I got my, my crown done, this is why I didn't have you do it, okay? You would have put radioactive isotopes in my tooth. Makes you want to reinstall this. When's the last time you played this? Oh, uh, Vixen, what's up? It's something with drums? Luna, what's up? I mean, hold on. I didn't know I was going to be a DJ this morning to take a request, but, you know. Medusa, Queen of Stones? All right. Wake up! Wake up! DJ Ski. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm just gonna play stuff from Epidemic. <laughs> oh my half chef, yep. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> I need pyrotechnics with this song. Uh, like Epidemic has like a whole, whole metal section, whole rock section. But there's been times I've used it for uh, videos and stuff. <laughs> Let's go get pumped. That sounds like something Taco would say. I have connection ski. Oh, I bet. The dental community is very close. Okay, okay. My tinnitus from 1994 just came back. I used to listen to a lot of metal when I was in the army. But a lot. I'm surprised I'm not deaf. Let's put it at that. But yeah, I've never played um, Chernobyl ever. Uh, I've, it says it's a science fiction survival horror RPG set in the hyper realistic 3D scanned wasteland of Chernobyl's exclusion zone. Explore a non linear storyline in your search to uncover the truth of your tortured past. Ah, oh, tortured past. Hold on, hold on, let's make it dramatic. 
Oh no! <laughs> I can't even hear myself when I have that going on. But yeah, no spamming Olaf, you'll get banned. <laughs> but yeah, I played it in August on your old save. Seems like a great thing to keep you awake on guard duty. Yeah, there's sometimes we would play stuff through the, um, through the truck that I was in when we were on convoys and shit. Or like before, to get you all pumped up. Antily? <laughs> Antily, Olaf? Oh. I mean, I mean it, it, it checks out. Don't forget to like the stream. <laughs> Look at Luna being positive in here. You know better. I was a truck once. <laughs> I like how right behind that it says, of course you were, Taco. <laughs> I'm not that small. Okay. She's an ant now? My kind of music for the gym positive ski? Uh, Vixen, as much as you've played Hunt Showdown with me and Olaf, like on stream and off. All right, hold on, let's see. Vixen, what would you rate my positivity rating out of a one to 10? A zero to 10 of my positive vibes rating while we're playing Hunt Showdown. <laughs> they get him 10,000? <laughs> you could positively bully Olaf. Oh, facts. I'm, I'm a like, push my button, I dare you. Oh, okay. Ski is always positive. Nova, welcome in. Always. I'm one of the crankiest people you've probably ever met in your life. <laughs> what the fuck are y'all talking about? <laughs> Especially, like, I don't sleep much. So if, like, right when I get up, if people are talking to me, I'm like, uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. You know, I, I need so much caffeine in my system. Before I can handle human interaction. Not the crankiest, but you're up there. <laughs> Thank you, Vixen. Chris, welcome in. Ski, you're crankier than an old man trying to get kids off his lawn. That movie is fantastic, by the way, Gran Torino. And it's so funny because... You know, it's Clint Eastwood. He's like 60 or 70 in the fucking movie. And he is just mad at everything. And he's like an old war vet. I get it. I, I understand his perspective. Annette, wish all a good evening. You the same. Ski always makes me happy with his happiness. What the fuck? The people I help say I'm the meanest but most effective IT person. There's always a heavy helping of salt in my replies. <laughs> Before my wife will even deal with me, she tells me to go outside and smoke. Oh yeah. When I worked at, um, I worked at a rehab facility, um, like a year and a half ago. Uh, maybe just over a year, just over a year. Um, and I had, like eight, sometimes 10 something guys in the same house that me and another guy like watched over. You know, we had them like doubled up or tripled up into room, huge rooms. Um, but they all had to be up and cleaned up by like eight o'clock in the morning. And these kids were, there. and I'm saying kids is a loose term. They were all over 18. You know what I mean? A lot of them were in their 20s, stuff like that. 
the laziest people I've ever met in my entire life. Cause I was like, yo, like y'all do this every day. Like, why are you, why are you always late? Why are you always late? You know, like by the time they're supposed to leave, they're starting to make breakfast. And I'm like, <laughs> yo, take the box of cereal with you. I don't give a shit. Like just get out the house. You know, <laughs> <It's> so cranky. <laughs> oh my God. One time I remember I just woke up. I just woke up and I can't make this up. I cannot fucking thousand percent make this up i walked out of my room so i have a cigarette in my hand like i'm gonna go walk outside to smoke so i, I I'm, I'm getting ready to walk outside and there's this real like hyper guy that we had at the house and he was in the, one of the upstairs rooms so he's downstairs and he just comes right up the hallway i don't have coffee in me or anything yet hey dude 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 i'm like yo and he's like he's one of those real close talkers where like he's like in your face and I don't appreciate that. So I kind of just pushed him back and I was like, what? And he was like, someone shit in the upstairs bathtub. I'm like, yo, y'all motherfuckers better stay away from me. I was so cranky. I was like, y'all just back up, just back up. I'm going outside. Somebody go up there and deal with this. Somebody go up and deal with this. Oh, I was fuming. And it's like, that's not the first thing I want to hear. This kid was already up for like two hours. <laughs> oh. It was like the strangest morning ever. Ski is there with like a whip saying go, go, go. Kind of. Dude, 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 dude. Ugh. No smoke. Berto, have you slept yet? I was actually looking at stuff last night. Um... I was looking on the internet. I was looking on the internet. And there's actually a, ho a haunted house by where me and Sammy are at. Um, that's like year round. Uh, and I also found, and I talked to Olaf about this. There's a VR, like a huge VR, um, like, like place where you can go in and suit up in their gear and go into like huge scenarios. They, they have like a zombie apocalypse one. They have a pirate one taco. Yeah, so what I was gonna do, I, I, I messaged this to Sammy last night and I kind of told him, I said, before I move out and, and get this house that um, I said, I was like, I, I think we should get like a couple GoPros and go to these, you know, and then I want to see if in the VR place, if we can get like get GoPro set up. So it's just watching us in the room look like idiots. And then I wonder if we can get the actual footage from us playing the game. So I'm going to reach out to these guys um, here within the next week or two and see if that's something we could do, because it would actually be like, you know, you could see me and Sammy and if he brings any of his friends trying to go ham in this weird, weird room hooked up to VR stuff. Fallen Angel, what's up? T-Cakes, hi. Long time no chat. It's been a while since you punched me in the head in Hunt Showdown. But yeah, I was, I was figuring if we could do something like that and then like the haunted house, um, it's, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like it's like every day but they have events every month. So there's a, an event next month around this time that I'm gonna see if I can convince them to go to that one too. Do it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on it. Like I said, I wanna do some cool shit before I leave the state, so. But yeah, the, there's a zombie apocalypse one for the scenarios I was looking at it. There was also, there was also one that was a Squid Games one there is a squid game scenario in the VR room place. Did I find a place for myself already? I'm, I mean, it's a million hoops to go through and I've only been seriously looking for a month. Where am I moving to? Closer to home, TK. It's a couple states over. If, if Taco's still here, he's gonna start screaming, he's moving to Michigan. Like he's, he's gonna start that up. There's a saw themed escape room in Vegas. That's awesome. Well, these are these are pretty much in, all these places are in in Chicago. 
Like, we're, we're a little bit away from Chicago, but it wouldn't kill a gas tank to get to it. So. But I was, I was, I know Sammy's got like a really fancy 4K. Go blue! Yeah, there it is. Um, Sammy's got like a real fancy 4K. I was looking at GoPros, kind of like just decent ones. And um, like they're only like 60 or 70 bucks. So I don't have a problem buying a GoPro and getting some type of weird attachment. Mullet, what's up? Couple of states over, is it's just like two doors down or it's like a seven and a half hour car drive from where I'm at, tea cakes. <laughs> I think you forget that America's humongous. Hail to the victor. Okay, here we go. No, my uh, my dad drove to see me in November, October, November. And I think it was like seven or eight hours to drive from my hometown to where I'm at now. Martina, what's up, what's up? I know it's huge, you make it sound simple. Well, tea cakes, I've lived in like 14 different states. Two doors down? Well, there's three doors down. Jimmy, so, I mean, you're not out of the ballpark there. And there's, there's three days grace. Just one door off. I could drive 12 hours north and I would still be in Cal California was huge. When Proto, when I live there, it is ridiculous how you can drive for 30 minutes how you could drive from 30 minutes and be in like seven different cities that you go through. Like when I was in Santa Ana, I like I would I would have to drive these these guys to like, you know, AA meetings and events and things like that. And I, I would you are now entering this. You're now entering this. You're now entering this. I was like, what what is going on? You know what I mean? I was like, I went six miles. Like it was so confusing. I was a band once. <laughs> okay. Stop stealing my stuff! <laughs> California knows how to party? There's a song about that. Move down south? No. I'm not moving in with anyone in chat. Matthew, what's up? About to go to bed? Did I say it? No worries. Enjoy your sleep. I used to live in Wisconsin a long, long, long time ago. I think I was like 14 or 15. When I lived in Wisconsin, but I lived in I lived in the town where they made overalls, the Oshkosh Bagosh overalls. That was that was the fancy thing in the town I lived in. If I drove twelve hours north, I would be in the sea. <laughs> Bird woman, what's up? Oh my God, this this one this one got exciting. A freaking overalls? Okay. People think they can drive around Australia in a couple days. No. Australia is humongous. And how are they going to drive around when it's rainy season? I could pass a handful of countries if I drove 12 hours. Yeah. Well, I lived up north and then... Oh, well, I lived down in Florida for years when I was younger. Um, getting back home to my home state was like 20-something hours. I think crossing Texas west to east takes over 16 hours. Yeah. Gosh, gosh, I had those when I was little. Yeah, that was my, what my hometown was known for. Come on, you could live in the stabbing cabin with doors. No, Taco has, Taco has said that. And I've said so many times that I could tell that Taco would just, like, I'd wake up and there'd be cameras everywhere. Like, and I'd hear him breathing right outside. I, I uh, uh, no. No, no. 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 No, no. No! <laughs> Ski, I'd assume they'd have windshield wipers? Uh, I don't know. I've went, a lo I've went fishing a ton. Not catfish. I mean, I'm a skinny dude. And I've seen those things, like they would, I, I, uh, I'd go in, I'd be under. I ran around Australia barefoot. 
<laughs> okay, Taco, let, let's get you back inside. Mullet, I look at them and I think I look good in them, and then I try them on and then I just get sad. <laughs> I think I've owned one pair of overalls. TJ, what's up? You don't hear me when I spy on you now, which makes you think it'll be any different? Okay. Tuna scares you? <laughs> like the like the big fish? Or like cans of tuna? I mean, you need to elaborate here. Ever seen noodling? I've, I think so. I've been catfished. <laughs> of course you have, Arlandria. <laughs> Same, I'm built like mashed potatoes, Luna, so it's just a mess. <laughs> I only wear overalls when I work on my Forerunner. It's fair. Oh my god, I relate. Just built like a baked bean. <laughs> what kind of fucking analogy is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? How y'all relating yourself to freaking mashed potatoes and baked beans? Like, y'all just y'all just picking foods now at this point. Oh my god, this one has words. It's called "I Despise" by No Sons of Mine. I don't know, I'm gonna let it play. Uh. The live fish, I'm not scared. The mids fish to the can. So you're scared of cans of tuna. That is a very weird, very weird flex there. Is body type analogs are tripping me out? You know how baked beans get a little mushy when you bake them? That's me and overalls. I often feel like a, you know what chat? Here we go. Since, since we already started this, what type, what type of food do you look like, apparently? What type of food do you look like? I feel like a piece of crispy bacon. I'm a stale potato chip. Oh, this is going to be good. Well, fat, well, more, we've, uh, tacos a ham, <laughs> tacos a hamburger. <laughs> I'm definitely a radish. Like the white ones, you know? Okay. A peanut, hey! Taco dot 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 hamburger. Exactly, tea cakes. I don't ask questions. A butternut squash? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this would be beef stroganoff? Mac and cheese? Okay. No, no one be, no one should be mac and cheese. <laughs> they, they, Mullet and Luna decided to start saying, Vixen, that they're built like mashed potatoes and apparently baked beans. So I asked everyone what the hell they're, they, a uh, food that would identify them as. So, and apparently the food that our Landria chose was Phil Collins. So, a tea cake. Slightly fruited, fruity, and not everyone likes them. Uh, <laughs> I, almost, I thought I just broke my chair for a second. I was laughing. Mac and cheese? That would be so bad because it would just walk around and be squishy noises. I would have waited for a few minutes. Mac and cheese is delicious, but if you were specifically mac and cheese you know like everyone I don't, I don't that just wouldn't be good mac and cheese can't walk have you ever seen when peter griffin asked the genie if he could have no bones and he was just a blob they moved him around on a wheelbarrow okay how would mac and cheese even wear pants science all right thousand percent science carefully thank you i'm built like a potato because i have eyes but they don't work 
I hate, I hate you sometimes. All of that sounds awesome. No pants or walking. What? <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is a stranger. This is a stranger conversation than me and Olaf have. And we talk about the weirdest shit in the world, right, Vixen? <gasps> I got the reference of the potatoes and yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it. I just hated it. That's pushing it, Ski, you and Olaf. Are... Like I said, Vic Vixen's normally heard, well, obviously Taco has too, but Taco, even Taco got weird in VC yesterday. I think I DC'd at one point because Taco made it strange. At least I didn't say melons and peach. Okay. I know I know what the innuendos you're going for there. But yeah, some of our conversations are wild. Taco never. Uh XYZ, what's up? When does Taco not make it strange? Well, you're not wrong. I think I remember when that was ski I should have muted. That was yesterday. I can't remember what, I don't know. We, we played Hunt yesterday, me, Olaf, and um, Vixen for a few rounds, like an hour or two. Um, and and Taco, Taco jumped in and made it strange. Made it strange very fast. Holy Santa, do I, do I even have the alert for this page? We're gonna find, oh. It doesn't have the fancy alert, but it, 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 it shows a happy Christmas box. I don't have anything like set up. Uh, hold on, am I doing a thing? Am I doing the thing? I'm doing the thing. Taco steals when you son of a bitch. Every time. Taco, is he sitting there? He's sitting there right now too. He's like, wow. I've been, I've been, I've been subbed to ski since he, he, he got partnered with YouTube. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much for the five. Now, I mean it. And you got a some nuts. Please say thank you in chat. T Cakes, Toya, Diva Paws, and Be Diva Paws? <laughs> what? No more rhymes now, I mean it. <laughs> oh, wrong button. I, I was trying to switch my voice back over. Diva. So wait, Olaf's Olaf Paw Belt, and then there's somebody called Diva Paws no and Bear? Rhymes, <gasps> now, I mean it. They're related! No, I mean it. Tarko? <laughs> that sounds like the the a mix of Taco and the show Nar Narcos, I think is the name of it. Olaf's alter ego. <laughs> uh, okay. Na -na 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 Give it back, Taco. <laughs> it's Olaf's drag name, you know? Time to go home. All right, Taco, have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. It's a chest and triceps day. All right, so I changed this game. I need a strong body to keep these memberships. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I did change the um, the voice acting in this game because it's it's a Russian game, obviously. Um, so it's going to. It, it, it might not translate very well. Like, I do have subtitles on, but I also changed the actual language, the voiceover language, to English. So the the translation might be off and wonky. I'm not sure. I haven't touched this game ever. I think I've seen... I, didn't, I don't remember if I watched Olaf play, because I don't know if you streamed it or not. And if you did, I probably wasn't paying attention. Polish team. <gasps> Polish peoples! I'm Polish! You never streamed it. Okay, so I'm. It would, 
And I don't think I watched Toothy play it. I don't know if I've watched anybody play this. I might have been there when Toothy did it. Just have recorded it. He probably did that though before I came around, you guys. Booster streams on. I wasn't around then. I was at the bar, Olaf. I was I was getting the drinks in. Could it be any worse for? Oh my God! Vixen sent me an Olaf. A, I'm just saying. Um, I, I know you told me they played it before, but I don't think everyone went that far back. Vixen, hold on. Let me let me look this up here. Vixen looked up something. Where's Vixen at here? Da -na 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 -na. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. I always close my DM, so it's really hard for me to find them, especially in streamer mode. When it ab when you're in streamer mode with Discord, it abbreviates everybody's name, everybody's name. But regardless, out of context here, Vixen decided to send me something yesterday about. Um, she found shit from South Sweden. I live in North Sweden. Here we type in Swedish when it comes to what's on the pizza. This thing it came up was something about like a salami. I, I don't, I don't have the picture anymore. Hold on, Olaf. I think I have it in your DM. Okay, sal uh, salami and apostrophe D U J A. San Marzano tomato sauce Slyori di latte under hold on you know what I'm just gonna show you guys I'm just gonna show you guys so let me do this I'm gonna go over to paint I'm gonna paste it and paint I'll go I'll go to I'll go to display capture here give me a second so we had a whole conversation Why, why is it showing just... That was paint not showing up over Chernobylite. Game capture. Oh, that's why. Should be screen capture. Now... Okay. So this says... Right here. Delate Salami. So I had this whole conversation if Olaf is over in Sweden, okay, drinking salami lattes, okay? So I feel like Olaf has had a salami latte in his life. So then we've stepped it up and then I said, what if there's salami trains? And then we realized that we were very afraid to Google salami trains. I always knew you were one of those DJs, Olaf. Pick and pickled locomotive. Yes. So we started talking about pickled locomotive salami and salami trains. <laughs> this was a conversation we had in VC yesterday. This, this, these were the things. This was yesterday. Yep. I can't make this up. That, that was a conversation from yesterday. Uh, I'm Googling salami train. I'm not, I'm not, you know what? It's on you, you're an adult. Don't don't blame us if you find something royally messed up. All right, that is not our fault.
Vixen, you will be a part of Weird South soon. You just got all the weird Italian speaking stuff. Heed with caution, Natalie. Okay. I like how Natalie up there says salami lattes doesn't sound strange for Olaf. I said that. I said that I could see Olaf just, you know, walking down the street with a, just a straw and a salami drink. I could see it. I mean, it would more be fitting for Olaf if it was kebab, kebab or what, you know, whatever. But I could see it, thousand percent. The straw made of salami. <gasps> Fancy. I have no words for this. Chad is like watching ping pong. The thoughts go so fast. How do you think it's, how do you think how I feel sitting on the receiving end of all of it? <laughs> like I have to take all of this in and incorporate it in my brain while reading it out loud. Add it to your business plan. Chat has the audacity HD. Now I want salami. Salami is fantastic. To be fair, I don't drink any kind of lattes. I drink real coffee. That just means I'm super smart. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I did go to college. It just, it just took me a while. He just looks up and has no time to even think what the fuck, let alone say it most There's There's a lot of times where you got, all, like, there, there's people that go overboard, and I'll skim it, and it processes, but I'm like, I'm not reading that out loud. Like, a lot of the times I have to be very selective, especially when I'm in the game, and there's a lot going on in the game, so I'm trying to focus and progress the story. But sometimes I look over and be like, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> like, if I would look over in an hour and... That, that whole, what kind of food would you be conversation went on, I would have just been like, I would have I tunnel visioned. I would have tunnel visioned to the game screen here. I'll let everyone know how pickled locomotive is in about six weeks. I just seen a video. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in a game. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut said ragey music off here. I do have the music off in the game, um, but if it's so quiet, I'll turn back on crazy playlist. But I'll just keep it a lot lower. You don't throw shade at me and mullet's conversation about our bodies. I'm not throwing shade. It was just very confusing. I wasn't expecting to have a whole conversation about that. Would you like some nuts? Thank you, Nightbot. Thank you for calming the chat. Medium, medium, medium. Character portraits show it. What? Okay. Can't wait to see the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, corporate brigands trial of their proprietary recultivation. Dronium 90 and Plutonium 240. Some have never abandoned their homes or even moved back. They'll be removed forcibly from the exclusion zone. Demonstrations across Ukraine. 10 billions of Shirvinas for indefinite lease. Okay. So I don't know why my audio is not coming over. So just, just read the subtitles if you can. Because it's going real fast. And since the music's off, you're not hearing it. So... But I do have English dubbed over on this. Loading screen doesn't have audio? Oh, okay. I figured it might have had a voiceover. How about a train? <laughs> no! Igor, wake up, you sleepyhead. Look, look over there. Glade just beyond those trees. That's where you proposed to me. Ew, marriage. You were so nervous and sweet. You're still sweet, my Professor Kimunik. Anyway, it feels good to return after all these years, doesn't it? 
It's a training sequence. Salami train? <laughs> I like how I can't really do anything. Oh, okay, now I can look. What? I don't know. Why is that doll just staring at me? What is it, Ikor? You're still half asleep. Tatiana. Wake up. You should tell me what to do. Awaken. Mm. Tanya? Okay, so my guy's name is Igor, apparently. And that was Tanya. Stop kidding around. Tanya. You sleepyhead. Yeah, Olaf. Olaf fell asleep in VC with us the other day. Can I take that? It looks like a fancy calculator. So yeah, me, me, Olaf, and uh, Taco and and Fooster were in VC, and all we hear is. So we all stop talking, and then you can see when somebody talks in Discord, their name lights up. So we all just stopped, and we were in like a really in-depth conversation too. And then Fooster was just like, everybody, three, two, one, we're all gonna scream at Olaf. So we all screamed at Olaf, he wakes up and he just goes, oh, yeah, I'm just very tired. I don't know, I should probably go to bed soon. We were like, you were just asleep in VC. <laughs> He had no idea. Clouds over Chernobyl. Uh, the consequences of the Chernobyl disaster are appalling. It is only the, it is the only case in history where many people died as a result of damage to the reactor from radiation sickness. Thirty-one in a few weeks, mainly due to a radioactive steam burn or exposure on high radiation. One person died of a heart attack. All right, I'm not going to go into the whole thing about it. Oh, I have the fancy fingerless gloves. Let me sleep! You're not streaming forever? You weren't even streaming! Igor. You weren't even streaming. We were just in VC and you just fell asleep. This has nothing to do with your streaming life. I turn, I, th this thing was set to ultra graphics. Am I getting radiation already? Oh, I have a knife. Wait! Oh, there she is. Tanya! I was tired after the stream. What? You keep me. You proposed to me. You were so nervous. And sweet. This is already a horror story. She's talking about proposing. Tanya Amelieva, stop this childish nonsense at once. Why do you use her full name? Where are you? After all these... That's enough! No more welcome, man. Uh, this game is actually taken from Drone Froze the, from the dev team. That's actually cool. Radiation sounds a na na. I don't like how my Geiger counter keeps going up. Like I can hear the little, the little crispy bits. There's a spider on my wrist just now. Igor. Everything's angry. Everything's angry. All right, 
I don't know if you guys know this at home. Okay. I don't, I don't know if you know this at home. But apparently, apparently, if you get struck by lightning, you automatically get an AK. Science. Science. I'm not, I, I don't make the laws of physics. But that is exactly what just happened. Nature is wild. Let me see if I can move my... Came down sight. You need to go up. You need to be as fast as how I move. There we go. Yeah, my, my, my aim down sights doesn't mean need to be. I hate when they slow down your aim sight. Like that's that's always supposed to be. You gotta go? Oh shit. Double tap A or B is not. Oh, I have the side steps. Leave me the fuck alone! Hold <laughs> 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 well on. Ah. Everything's angry! Oh man. What kind of vacation is this? What kind of vacation is this? I'm out of ammo. Off. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think I was supposed to die so soon. Was I supposed to die already? Good, I'll, uh, it's part of the game. I was gonna say I ran out of ammo. Oh, so I just got an imaginary AK when I got struck by. Oh. Why is this place so familiar? It's my old workshop. I'm so confused. Please hurry. This reality is coming apart, can't you see? Okay, mechanical parts and what was that for? A portal generator? I, I, what? I don't know. Let's go looting. Oh, I can't run in here, so I'm stuck to minimum walkage. Property of Future Deterrence Technologies. Oh. Okay. Get back to your work. It's the only way out of here. Not the boss of me. Did you piss off Thor? I don't ask questions anymore. What else did I need for this? Uh, oh, I have enough. Feels good to return. Huh? Huh? The entire zone is on lockdown. NAR doesn't screw around. Yeah. Let's just hope our source comes through and we don't run into any patrols on the way. And what if we do? We will improvise. That's what our sleeping beauty here paid us for, remember? Sure, sure. Do you really think they'll test this recruit re recultivation something? Isaac, I haven't seen any signs of that, but I'm telling you, something is up. There are way too many contractors for such a small area. We can handle the contractors. They're probably some of Wagner's rejects. 
Fuck you. I fought alongside those guys. I know, I'm just messing around, Anton. Let's focus on getting our professor here some of this. Chernobylite? That's what it's called? Igor? Igor. I don't know who Oliver is, but he, he was just talking to me there, so take note. We've got Tatiana. Wake up, Igor. We have to go. And Oliver. What? I must have dozed off for a moment. Let's go. What are you? Uh, Having doubts, Professor? I, I'm apparently thinking about backing peanut, out. You need to tell us now. Shad is mashed Not potatoes, baked beans, Let's crispy bacon, stale chips, mac and cheese. Oh, you're just the rhetorical. You sure this plan of yours is going to work, Professor Kimenyuk? Eagle, Anton. please. And yes, it will. You two take care of your part, and I'll take care of mine. All right? Try to keep a low profile. Last thing we want is a firefight. A, a fire? What are you getting us into, Igor? It is necessary. It's something that needs to be done. I don't like riddles, Professor. But you're the boss. Reminds me of that night up in Syria. Remember that, Olivier? I do, unfortunately. No more and more. The only part which even Steam page says is your wife's been missing for 30 years, so you're heading back to find her. Why, why would you go back? Oh. Misha, we can't! We have to fall back! The pressure's dropping! Downstairs! Now! Go! 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 Hold off. This is no time for bird watching, Igor. Let's go. Through the fence, into the sewers. Sewers? Oh. And down into the underworld we go. It's nothing but a hole in the ground, Anton. Oh, does anyone else yeah, have an So, how bad is the radiation around here these days? It's been a long time, right? Do yourself a favor and don't think about that right now. Let's focus on doing the job and getting out of here in one piece. Igor, if the shit hits the fan, get yourself out of sight until we take care of it, okay? Don't be a Giroi. Don't panic, Olivier. Oh? No Giroi's here. Giroi's? Only some desperate people walking into the heart of darkness. Should it be Leroy? Like Leroy Jenkins? I need a voice, or I need an audio bite of that. No talking. Go. After you, Eagle. Ladies and eggheads first. You're making fun of my head. <laughs> Funny guy, yeah? You. Okay, they just they just threw me. Help us to talk to the screen. Objectives, oh, important on. characters. Using well. when you get lost, I don't want to go don't know where to go next. Okay. Quit yapping. That truck didn't drive on its own. Keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Stay in the shadows. You're a shadow. I'm a bush now, na 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 na, hunt show down, na 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 na. Push the for Olaf. Snake. <laughs> See people's become invisible. Like a fart. So you were inside the lab? Yeah. An AR soldier and mercenary. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Interesting is above my pay grade. Now pass that bottle. Oh, they're, they're drinking the booze. I go through there? I don't think I can go around. It looks like it's gated up. I might have to just go past them. Uh, you know me, I'm very known, I'm renowned for my stealth capabilities. All right. Jeez. 
choo choo. Hold on. Chris, where is it? Where is it? If your wife was missing for 30 years, you're literally too old to crouch. Very, very true. Sorcery? Hustlers, what's up? That guy is blind as shit. Oh, I'm gonna get caught. Identify yourself. Shit. I'm the tech guy. I'm here about the power outage. This is the place, right? First, let's see some ID, tech guy. He doesn't believe you. Thank you. Do I need to tell you who sent me? The Colonel. And, god damn it, is he mad. A power shortage in the middle of the Dynamo Kiev game. See how good hey, my Russian don't is? don't worry about it. Just give me your name so I can tell him what a great job you're doing out here. He sees through you. What, Colonel? What are you talking about? Stand still, you're no fucking tech guy! Thank you. Can I take us okay? Can I, can I take us? Come on, it's got a nice scope on it. Thank you, mysterious strangers. Eagle, hey, over here. Hey. You sure this is the right entrance? I used to work Super here, stealthy. remember? I know. Yeah, I know. I'm sure. It's hard to get this level. You know, the Assassin Creed games and all those, they're based off of me in real life. It just took real first-hand knowledge of, of you know, Eeyore, my fancy duties. Take a red reading, will you? Uh, open your inventory and equip a uh, environmental analyzer. It's already equipped. Three point six. Not great. Not terrible. Chin up. Place We're safe for another hour okay. or so. Okay. All right. None of you are safe. Acetation. I hope you have a good memory. Okay, I'll take point. Yes, sir, Captain Olivier, sir. Look at that guy out with a chicken. What movie did they have that in? Yeah, it was with Charlie Sheen. Where he, he shot a chicken as an arrow. Hot Shots, I think was the name of it. Those movies were freaking wild. You sure this device of yours works, Eagle? Yeah, yeah. I don't have time for getting into details right now, but yes, all it needs is more Chernobylite. Chernobylite, right. The most radioactive compound on Earth. That's what you called it. Luke. The man knows what he's doing, Anton. Stay focused, complete the mission. We'll all be laughing about this over a beer before you know it. I'm, I'm getting loot. Oh, so it actually shows me loot. Versus they're mocking a talk gun? Yeah, yeah. The readings are bad. So the numbers are too high. We have to get out of here. We can't leave him behind, dear God. Let me out of here. Let me out. Alexander Boresevich, someone has to open the valves manually. Someone has to go inside. I feel like I just burned both of my retinas. Oh, too 
hostiles up ahead. Quiet. Anton, left one's yours. I'll take... I'll take the other one, Olivier. Oh, look at Bright Boy over here. Uh, okay, Bright Boy. it's your show. But if you get us killed, I'm gonna be pissed. Very well, come in. to execute the plan. I'm accessing the terminal. If the AZ-5 button is still working... Any loot? Any loot? Right. Oh, I just, I just knifed it. Stealth. Hashtag stealth. <gasps> Igor, don't! Tatiana? What are you stalling for, Igor? Time is critical here. I'm not stalling, goddammit! The system's not responding to the prompt! If I make a mistake, we could cause another meltdown. You never said anything about that before. Okay. Fancy pink well, drink and some snacks. We have to find another way to access the reactor room. By we, you mean me and Anton, right? Come on, partner. This is what they pay us the small bucks for. The reactor room! Now! Da -na -na -na. I didn't push the button like Olaf would have done. So every time I'm playing a game now, I'm trying to figure out what not, what would Olaf do, and then I do the exact opposite. Facts. We had a plan, Igor. Why didn't you just press the damn button? You don't have long. Run. What about the radiation? Anton, please, you're stressing me out. Where am I supposed to run to? Through that shit? Oh. Can you hurry it up down there? This seems like a good idea. I, I hope my guy knows what he's doing. I remember. You've seen one of these Smart before. Smart thinking. Are we winning? You? A much smaller fragment, oh, oh, but enough oh. for my initial studies. Are you going to tell me how this fancy gun of yours works? It creates a kind of shortcut through time and space. It's called a wormhole. It forms a tunnel with two mouths. It needs an exotic energy source to keep it open. Exotic energy... Uh, that's the Chernobylite? Exactly. And where does this shortcut lead? It leads wherever it needs to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? What? My fiance. She disappeared here during the disaster 30 years ago. Yeah, can we talk about her later? Grab the crystals and let's go. Uh. My fucking god. Help me. I have ski. You, why are you here? I was out getting groceries. Look at that. Cunning level 1000.
Uh, he's gonna leave me alone from now on. He's just like, oh, man, I got lost on his way to get some groceries. Olivier? Where the hell did you go? I, I believe Olivier. that. That's the guy. This guy just got shot. He's just he's just walking what all right. What the fuck was that? Listen, I, Jesus, I'm so sorry, Olivier. Anton was uh, he was a good man. Who was that fucker? Hell if I know. Three. Somehow he used the negative energy of the Chernobylite to teleport. Now to confirm this theory. Stop. That doesn't matter right now. That's a tree Can I saw in the beginning. And where is here exactly? We're inside a wormhole connecting two singularities. It's quite short and not very stable, so we need to move. Do you understand? And no, he can't chase us in here. I, I mean, it's possible in theory, but highly unlikely. So he's going to chase us in I here. I don't want to know. Just get us out of here. Uh, that's, that's what's this way. Bro, what's we'll up, come man? out near Mikhail's place, hopefully. Let's meet there, then. <laughs> My arm... It feels like the muscle's been twisted from the inside. You just got shot I'm and then went through a radioactive motherfucker, Anton. wormhole. I promise you. Yes, your arm should hurt. Y'all you know, ain't questioning shit, really. You know, just, okay. Black mask wearing mother f blank. Finish power plant guest. I was, just, I, I, I was trying to get loot, and it was just like, no. This place is definitely not what it used to be. It's like a snake shedding its skin over and over again. You have to learn it all over again. Feel it. Tame it. I was just watching something, and then they just kept calling somebody a snake. What was it? Oh, I started rewatching. um... The Walking Dead. Oh, I didn't start re-watching it. I kind of picked off where I stopped watching it like three years ago. But now I'm on the last season. And, um... Yeah, they keep calling this one guy a snake. But what I was, I was telling Proto about this last night when he was streaming. Last night or the night before. That... I have, I have a system for watching The Walking Dead because I, I fell off of watching the show. It was too much side shit and blah, blah, blah. Every time there is a lot of boring dialogue in it, I'm just fast forwarding to main plot holes. I am not watching any of the bullshit this time. I'm legitimately uh, like. The singularity. Like, I, I'm, the I'm just taking the full reality. side parts. The foundations of this reality are really quite fragile. You're out of time. Go. Oh, he's not even real. Well, I think one more shot's here. There you go. <clears throat> Have I ever watched the show from? I don't know. You just walked right off of that. Uh, from? Hold on. Is it legitimately called From? From TV series. Here we go. Plagued by terrifying nocturnal creatures from the surrounding forest and secrets hidden in the town. No, I'll check it out later. But no, I've never, I've never, I don't think I've watched that one. I watch a lot of crazy shit. But yeah, Walking Dead was one of those things. Like, I think everyone got to a point in it, and then they were like, I need a break. You know, and at the same point, they started doing Fear the Walking Dead. So I started watching that one. 
And then there's like a Daryl Dixon spinoff now. And I was like, I just need background noise. You know what I mean? And normally I just do that with series. Um, and, and lately I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to pull up the whole season. Last night I was up till six, six or seven in the, this morning. I was up until six or seven in the morning. And um, I, I sat there and I was like, shit. I got to make a thumbnail and I need to go to sleep. So I went to bed by like seven and then I was up at 10 so I could stream this at like by 11 to make sure everything was set up. So I, I didn't want to shut it off though. So I had to shut up, like turn on something on like YouTube about like, you know, like horror stories to fall asleep to or something like that. Reminds me of a town that's pretty similar. I think I watched Dark. Walking Dead is too repetitive. There's so many scenes in The Walking Dead. And, I, and I'm going to go into this since we're just still on topic. I don't want to forget about it. Where, you know, like the zombies and stuff like that. Like, one, the main people, they're always on defense. There's very few times they're on offense. You know what I mean? Very, They're always in defense mode. I don't like that. Go for the throat, you know. But they keep doing it that, you know, the zombies are walkers, quote unquote like are scaring them you know what i mean and you've seen them take down like sixteen thousand of them but peace you know so all of a sudden they're in a fight everything slowly walks up to them and somehow they always get tackled i'm like you have very serious knowledge on what you're doing here i don't know how you still getting shocked you know like i like I, i'm confused at a lot of the scenes because they're trying to like amp up the energy and they're making the music real loud and i'm like this shouldn't even like these guys shouldn't even think at this point because they've been doing it for like 10 years like one zombie should not sneak up on you at this point you know this should be secondhand nature you know so like i'm yelling at my tv screen while i'm watching this lately and i'm like how do you not how are you not how are you still bad how are you still bad at this like it makes zero sense they should be assassins they all should just be full-on assassins oh my god i'm I, i'm getting stressed just thinking about it right now Fear of the Walking Dead is better than The Walking Dead, in my opinion. I did like the beginning season or two of it, and then I kind of fell off of that one. Um, I feel like I'm one of the few that like anything of The Walking Dead. Don't get me wrong. It's a good show. It, it was huge when it first came out. You know, I mean, everyone watched the first couple seasons. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm at that point where like it's taken me like five four or five years to want to get back into watching it like proto said the same thing during stream the other day when he was on twitch he said i want to get back into it but i you know i go to load it up and then i'm like i don't i don't know if i have the energy to legitimately watch the show so i feel like when people try getting back into watching the show they have to force themselves to get back into watching the show if that makes sense would you like some nuts thank you die butt Maybe they have early Alzheimer's. I mean, it could happen. I struggled with Supernatural for similar reasons. I've never watched that show. I've seen bloopers from it, but I've never watched the show. You can't hear Mr. Gippy sliding his foot toward you? Well, here's the thing, too, is they're all still going... The whole time. You don't think that you would be picking that up like a mile away. Resident Evil beats Walking Dead all day long. I, you know what? My thing was, is Pro, and Proto was having a conversation about this too the other day. He was saying that if, you know, there was like a zombie apocalypse, he would want them to be like Walking Dead ones. And I was like, that's, that's simplistic. I was like, you need the 28 day to, days later zombies. Like the ones that full send at you. Like the, the sprinting ones. You gotta get the full sprint. Well, Laura, welcome in, by the way. I, I read your comment earlier, but I didn't say hi. Anti-radiation medicine. Okay, so I, I do have something that takes my radiation. How many times have we walked through these gates? More than I can count. Let's go in together, my love. I 
All right, so I would immediately die in that kind of zombie apocalypse. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had surgery on my knees and the ankles and stuff. Oh, can I? Ooh. How do I? It looks like I can switch. Highlight all resources R and T. I just did that. Select herbs, they'll be useful for creating medicine. Oh, okay. You're hurt, Igor. Tend to your wounds. I have no medkit. Perhaps I can prepare something over the bonfire. All oh, the loot stuffs. Where's the bonfire? Uh, 54 meters this way. Miss anything? Nothing highlighted? That's actually kind of cool that it gives me... Um, there's two things I already like about this. One, the scanning aspect, so you can kind of see the stuff you need to pick up instead of just constantly missing stuff. Two is the directional thing at the top of my screen here. So I'm not walking in circles constantly trying to figure out where to go. So I'm, I'm a huge fan of that to progress the, the, the storyline. Uh, gotta go get cleaned up. I'm smelling like wet grass. Have a good one, Roach. Take care of yourself. Uh, which one's the healing? So, oh, that one. Oh, so I just made stew for no reason. Okay. All right, so I made a couple of them. Does that tell me where to go now? As soon as I said I like this because it tells me where to go, it stopped telling me where to go. Do you guys notice that? Fresh cut grass smells good, it does. Uh, I thought I saw something that they were going to make a third 28 days a week, 28 weeks later. Well, it was 28 days later, then it was 28 weeks later, so they might make 28 months later. I mean, I, I feel like that's kind of their theme here. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Pineapple pancakes. Would you mind... I can't think with that gun pointed at me. 28 seconds. Igor? Oh, damn it. Nostalgia. Sounds like a dating app. It's nostalgia. <laughs> it was your idea, goddammit. You don't look so good, Igor. We don't have any medical supplies, not even bandages. Minutes. See if you can find something and patch yourself up. You don't look so good, Igor. Oh my god, really? You don't... So I have to use it? Alright. Come on in. Igor, you're a bit of a handyman, right? Take yeah. a look around and see if any of this crap is useful. This is your element, my sweet. Create order from this chaos. Press B to start building your base. Nani? This is my house? Hold on, hold on, there's stuff up here. Oh, there, it's just your gun. Hold on. Oh, I can't go back there. But there's loot back there. Alright. Whatever. Uh, when in building mode, you can mark previously built structures and dismantle them to recover resources by pressing T. Practice on the rubbish lying around. Oh, so this is like Fallout mechanics. Thousand percent, like like Fallout. Uh, what is it for? You want to have to step away? Put the mail button. Yeah, yeah. No worries, April. Uh, 
I mean, I only started streaming in like an hour ago, so you're, you're, you're good. Yeah, this reminds me of Fallout 4 doing this. Oh, snap. Look at this fancy place. Oh, I can assign missions? What? Alright, let me let me mess with a little bit about this base building shit. I feel like under the stairs is fancy. Can I do anything with it? Nope, I don't want the teleporter. Igor's room. What is this? Ariadna, my life's work. Still a prototype, but it will recreate any event from the past if you feed it the right data. <laughs> Glad I didn't let those Brits destroy it. Will help me find Tatiana. It's hiding it Just from like Booster. in the myth of Tessius. Ariadna's thread will lead me to the truth. Hopefully. What is it with you in basements? I like basements. There's nothing wrong with being in a basement. This guy is so obsessed with his his wife here. Room with a view? Street view? Tell me you're not going straight back to the power plant. Because if you want to commit suicide, there are easier ways. We're outnumbered, outgunned, out... everything. We need intel, backup, supplies, and most of all, we need a fucking plan. Okay, Olivier, let's hear your plan. Olivier. I'm glad you're seeing reason. See this board behind me? We can use it to map out our plan of action. Figure out how to get inside the power Cypress plant you? and find whatever it is you're looking for. Or whomever. Every piece of intel, every bit of info about resources, will document in right here. We'll take our next step when the time is right. For today, let's focus on getting our strength back. Okay. If we're going to use this warehouse for our base, we need to find some supplies and get organized. Somewhere to sleep would be a start. Maybe we can find some cots? Sure. Okay. Let's do this right. I, ha I have a bed Rick. in the other room, and he's I'll like, do let's everything go find I can some to cots. help you figure out what happened to this. Tatiana? That was her name, right? One last thing before you go. NAR uses weapons with a biometric lock. We can't use them, so we have to defend ourselves with what we have. Use it as a last resort. I presume you know how to handle firearms? I got struck with lightning and You're had an imaginary set. assault rifle. Thank you. I have faith in you, Igor. Okay, so... You start each day with planning. Choose what mission you'll do personally, and we'll trust to Oliver. Choose wisely. You can only complete one mission a day. You can see everything from here. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I'm not sure what to do first. Should I tell Olivier to run some errands, or should I do it myself? Choose a mission. No... Uh, that you are all over to take on today by selecting F and clicking the left click. Note that each mission has a different purpose and takes you to a different location. Missions are divided into various types. They allow you to get food, ammo, and medicine. Okay. So. 
Medicine drop, supply drop. I feel like... So he can get 86 for an ammo. Okay, so it has a percentage I can send him to. So I'm gonna send him on the ammo drop because it's 86 for him. And then I think I should go to, to the port. I'm going to go to the, he's going to go get ammo. I'm going to go to the, get the, the supply drop. Or hold on. That's two days left. So I could go get, I could go to the residential. Area. I'm going to go to the residential area and get ammos too. When you're in, uh, ready, you remember difficult missions do not have to be assessed successful. You can be kidnapped and even killed, but hunger will kill you just as quickly. Oh. So I do need to get food. So let me go get the supply drop. I'm going to go get the f supply drop to get food for us. He can get the ammos. Uh, I'm not reading that, Amanda. Hi, Ski Ski Bang Bang. How are you? Hello, mods and chat. Hope you're doing great. That's too much positivity, Amanda. You guys know better. If Olaf stood there with a the shotgun and said, get on with it. Where's the chat's invite? To... Chat just gets to go along for the ride. All right. I don't trust chat with important missions. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do some shit here. Um, why is that under six? Can I? I want this to be three. Give me a second. I can stay on one. That's on five. Let's put... Whatever. Uh, hold on. Let me, let me, hold on, hold on. Put this on six. I can do it with this six. Oh, you're on four already. All right. All right. All right. Have you seen that movie, Chernobyl Diaries? I've seen a ton of movies like that, yeah. I'm not, re I'm not reading at the nice things, Amanda. I don't do that. You yell that stuff at Olaf and Taco. I don't like compliments. Freak me out. They just make me think that you're after something. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's so bright. Tanya, remember when they used to call this place the dish? The dish? We used to come here all the time. And you'd tease me whenever you got the chance. I love you, Igor. You know that. But that doesn't mean you're off the hook. I want you to see you challenge yourself for real this time. No more books. No more equations. No more quantum physics. After you finished your tea, I want you to take my hand and come speed skating speed with me. Speed skating. You're not going to science your way out of this. <laughs> Don't worry, my love. Even though I was the ice skating champion in Muramansk, I'll take it easy on you. 
I like how she just bragged the shit out of herself on. She was like, listen, we're gonna go speed skating, but even though I'm the fucking champion and I can dust your ass in a second, I'll take it easy on you. That's one of those backhanded things like Olaf would tell me. You guys are amazing. I'm happy I found you genuinely nice people with a great community. I'm not the nice one. It's called trauma. <laughs> I just don't like compliments. <laughs> I'm the first person you would want in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, and I don't even know you. And I don't, I don't know. I, I, I have a few people. Here's the funny thing too, is I have a lot of my buddies um, from my home state that are like, man, if there's a zombie apocalypse, we're calling you or we're coming over to your house. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> like, uh-uh, y'all are on your own. You all are on your own. I'm a lone wolf, chat. You see, like, all right, we just talked about this, and... And where are you going? It's raining, you know. About the walking Just death. for a stroll. Every time they get so big... to join me. <laughs> every time they get stay and so up big, my paper. they Come get on, somebody Igor, tries to destroy don't be such a wuss. Every time. It's Sunday. Science can wait. I'm going to pass this time. Science can well, never wait, Tatiana. I'll have a cup of tea ready for you when you come back with a cold. Ski hates us? I just don't know a lot of people I want to take into a zombie apocalypse with. If I don't know somebody, it makes it a little more difficult. I don't know what your motives are. If you watch The Walking Dead, all right, everyone is crazy to an extent they're crazy cray cray as the kids say okay and i'm not about that life all right <laughs> there's a ton of places they want me to explore look at this i have like 70 like Probably well, actually like six. Oh, there's a guy down there. Good. I think it might be showing me question marks of people. Look at all that stuff, chat. Did y'all just hear kids laughing? I don't, I don't like that. Don't. Could you not, please? Stop, Shadow. Stop, You want to go? You want to go? I'll end you right here. I'll do it. That dude blind as shit. Ego has to remember that she looks 30 years older right now. I mean, the facts. How do I get into this building? Where's the entrance? Oh, I'm, st I'm stuck. Oh, I can't go in it. There has to be a way around the front then. Nope, can't go in that way. Nothing. Oh, I gotta. Go. I can't go anywhere back here. Okay, I don't see anything that way. Oh, something right in front of my face. Mushrooms, herbs. All right, so I have to go around here. There's that guy out front, and I'm assuming there's a way in this building over here. He's over there on my left. 
Didn't I just play a game like that where I had to be like crazy stealthy? Zombie babies? <laughs> yeah, no. No, thank you. You promised me a garden, Igor. Yes, I know. Sorry. Why she I never got around right to there. setting it up. Can't wait to have some homegrown potatoes and carrots. But that's what you had in mind, right? <laughs> oh, you're a potato yourself, Professor Kuminuk. No, I was thinking about wow. a herbarium. Calendula, sage, chamomile, mugwort, lemon balm, garlic, cloves, whatever I can get to grow here. We do have a pharmacy in Pripyat, you know. You don't need all those weeds. Herbs are useful weeds. Nature is clever that way. You're strange. Feel that chat? Did you feel the levels? Uh, skills. Uh, health bars increased. Help better cope with injury and pain. Enemies will need more time to, to notice me. What should I do, chat? I'm not stealthy at all. Feel like reflexes. I'm a reflex kind of guy. Why won't you let me? Oh. Unknown companion. Oh, those are for me. Those are, this is the only one I get. I could just get stunning. Why can't, why can't I take it? Are you not letting me take anything? You know what? It just told me eat shit. I probably missed something in the thing where it said like, hey, you have to be here to level up. Lock. Try crafting it at the crafting station in your base. Oh, okay. That would have been nice to know before I got here. Thank you. Wow. It's wow. I'm going to see if I can take this guy out for science. But first, there's loot over here. Did I miss something in the creepy laugh factory here? Yep. It did say... ...that if I took people out, it would affect my sanity. I was going to take your ass out. What is up with the dolls? Why? What? They're everywhere. I don't. Uh, uh, okay. I don't like it. Olaf's fault. It's like a big stash down there in the basement. Burn out? Anti Chernobylite burner? I don't have any of these fancy things! This game just doesn't want me to succeed. Oh, I can't even go up there. 
shit. Okay, so I gotta go 132 meters this way. Has anyone else been in a situation where you wonder what would have happened to that pretty high school sweetheart and then you meet her 25 years later and think, phew, I dodged a bullet? I'm one of those people that make the mistakes firsthand. <laughs> I've been in a lot more r dating relationships than I should have been in that I already knew were a horrible decision at the time. But I was stupid. That's an actual guy. I might be able to sneak past them. It does say you have like a psych meter and like a psyche meter and like a sanity meter. So I don't know if I should just be walking around fucking people up. Okay, so I see the drop up here. And then there's, there's the Chernobylite stuffs. Guard down there. of training become this good. I needed the anti-Chernobylite burner. When you're ready, use the portal generator from your inventory to go back to the refuge. Look at that, I, I can't leave all this stuff. How else am I gonna make the fancy things back at my place? There was a guy walking down there, yeah. I just found an AK. Frickin' score. It's only a mistake the second time you do it. Uh, you guys are just setting me up for failure. Go the other way, dude. I don't want to have to do this. I'm trying to give you a chance here. Dude, I'm being nice. I don't normally do this. Ooh, I want to get in there. There's got to be good loot in there. Hold I'll on. Have to take a leak soon. Why did that guy announce that he has to take a piss soon? Happy for you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have to also pee right now. But, he's talking to himself. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is a bad hiding spot. Wonder what the quartermaster made for dinner tonight. Hope it's not more fish. I hate fish. I mean, you're, you're in, like, Chernobyl, man. I... I don't think you've got a lot of wildly decent options for dinner. I mean, don't get me wrong. The food when I had when we were uh, overseas was actually really good. Didn't even have to get struck by lightning that time? No. Beardy, what's up, dude? How do I get in there? Look at all that. Did you see all that, that loot?
Oh, okay. Didn't I just say I had to pee? And now I go into a building that just has water droplets everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, game. Much appreciated. I wanted to ask why you're so infatuated with this Sibelius character. We have so many great Russian composers, and you chose some bald guy from Finland. I wish you could see what I can when I play his suites. Tall pine forests, frozen lakes, the blurring of day and night, the world slowly revolving on its axis. It's almost like everything is connected, you know? Sorry, I can't see any of that. Sibelius isn't for everyone, but perhaps you could see it if you tried, my love. So a backup person can cover his ground? I'm not one to say I've made enough of that kind of mistakes myself. I was just trying to comfort Ski. <laughs> Here's the thing, a lot of my past dating experiences were terrible because I was at the bar a lot and that's where I met people. <laughs> so it wasn't the most intelligent spot for me to go to look for the datings. Yoik! You didn't even see that move, did you, bruh? Ah, uh, what a day. What a shitty, shitty day. <sighs> this guy has such a shitty attitude. He, he's just mad the whole time he's at work. I can relate. Can relate. Alright, I'm just gonna... Try to take out one or two more spots and then I'll portal back and figure out where I've got to go and see if I can make some stuff. And I mean, this is cool though. Like I said, I didn't really ever see any gameplay. I didn't know there was base building. I didn't know you could craft stuff. I thought this was a straight story mode game. I didn't think there was all the extra. Like I didn't know this had like such a... Um, Like a fancy Fallout vibe to it, you know, if that makes sense. It's a lot more or open, or open wildy, yeah, open wild, or op, yeah, yeah, oh, open world, open world. I got it, I got it. I had Olaf Swedish brain for a second. Uh, don't laugh at me, huh? Yeah, I know. Shut it, shut it. <sighs> All right, well, whatever. I made it to the spot. I'll use the portal gun. Yes, use that brain of your, um, you know. Um, the wa ever since the water droplets, all I can think about is peeing. So. Super sneaky. Wasn't there a dude that has been struck by a lightning seven times? I think this approach is chat? working, Igor. Looks like we can sneak in and out of the zone without attracting attention. So, how did it go? Are you any closer to finding your old lady? You still want to go back to the power plant? I have to go back. I have the strongest Maybe feeling she's there. Me. Feelings? You surprise me, Professor Kimenyuk. Don't hurt Trusting me. Your don't hurt is important. No more. The last no time more. we tried that, we lost. Don't worry, Olivier. I'm not crazy. I'll keep gathering evidence, and when I've got enough, we can formulate a new plan. Booster, what's up, man? Evidence, plans, information, resources. It will all get us closer to your goal, Igor. Thank you. How did you do today? I'll brief you in a minute. First. Let me point out a couple of things to you. Go on. <laughs> First you need to you understand done. the role you're in. You hired me and rented this warehouse. That makes you the commander of this base. Oh, I'm a commander now. It means you will be in charge of all our equipment and, most importantly, our food I got, rations. I went, I went and got food rations. You have to start thinking like a strategist. I am a super like this strategist. Is a military operation. I understand that. Organize the base and take care of your troops. That's that. number one. Uh-huh. 
Starving is no fun. I know from experience. Forget to feed your troops, and the morale will I've drop. I've ate ramen noodles for years on you. end. I understand. Also, in situations where resources are scarce, there's a group psychology to consider. Mental health. Playing favorites, rewarding those who slack off, and not appreciating the men who pull their weight are surefire ways of creating oh. discord amongst the men. I, I, I have what discord. Men? It's an app. There are only two of us. Where do you say? And for now, but that has to change if you want your power plant operation to succeed. <laughs> we need more power, more sure, intel, more skill, and more Plugged bodies. And each of those bodies Plugged will need space, in. food, and resources in this base. I know and, you're eager to bolt out there the other and continue Discord your search, that I'm also in. but you need to be patient. Point TGG. Plan. Strategize. Take it slow. Double plug. You have to find time to cater to the needs of your companions and manage this warehouse. If you don't, all your plans will be for nothing. Look how fancy I am. You're See right. That? I need to fancy. be smart about all of this. Absolutely. I, remember, I didn't read anything he said because I got excited about I will about advise and support you every step of the way. That's what you're paying me for. So, in all short, you adopted a grown man. Uh, let's see. I'm, I'm healthy and emotionally stable. I got rewards. Success and success. So they, they give me a... Yeah, I got a lot of food. So you can produce food too? So I don't have... I'm doubling him up since he doesn't have a bed. So I realized I have to have beds for my own guys. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna double it down since he already took a bullet for me. During the evening, you could build new structures for your base and train with companions. Do not hesitate to use the collected resources and skill points. Okay, so the skill point I couldn't use earlier, I can do in the base here. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to run to the bathroom. I'll blare something in the background while I'm gone. Uh, uh, uh. There you go. What, what I put on heavy I, I put on heavy metal for a minute I come back Luna's trying to fight Fooster Slim gave himself whiplash I peed for like 30 like 40 seconds 
Like that was it. Like, what, what, what's wrong? I can't. I can't leave for like two minutes. How long is the song? Hold on. I'll let you know how long I was gone for. The song's only two minutes and fifty-eight seconds. So within the two-minute time frame, I was gone. You guys just created chaos. It's all. Up. Olaf. You know what I feel like I need to do with Olaf? I feel like I need to put him on, you know, you ever see those like baby harnesses with like the leash? Like the baby leash? I feel like we need to put him on one of those. But maybe with like a dog shot collar too for when he gets really out of line. He'd like that too much. Okay. How do I make a sleeping place? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, sleeping place. Um, okay, so I can make a bed for this dude. As a military man, I'm used to sleeping rough, but is it really necessary? Think he could get us some more beds? I was just doing that. More beds. I'm on it. Yes, restful sleep is critical to our effectiveness. What a dick. I was legitimately in the menu to make this guy a bed and it was like hey why don't you make me a bed now i gotta figure out what i was doing again okay you know what i'm making this guy like harry potter oh i can't put him right under there okay you get to sleep right here well Bam. Done. now everyone will wake up well rested and ready to take on the zone so every time somebody's walking right here and it's loud as shit, it's right above your bed because you're a dick. That's what you get. Oh no. I don't, I don't have anything I want to use to scream. Oh, maybe the announcer. This got a noise. More Bensky? I'm trying! I have a very sharp, tippy-tappy shoes. Do you have those ones that are like really weirdly pointed in the front? That look like they're a testicle piercer? Air quality, radiation? Okay, I can't figure out any of that. Power supply? I feel like the beds and all that should be down here. That looks like a door to the outside. I feel like anything power related and like crafting wise should be here. I wanna see if I can build a storage unit. Build Igor's inventory. Weapon smith, armor smith, containers, storage. Bay up. I don't know why I can't figure out how to just go back. Sus knife activity. I can't control chat. I've just. I've just learned to go with it at this point.
Hold on a minute. Comfort in the life of the base. Why are they so picky? Plus 40. Right next to your bed, dude. Okay, so I can make a record player. All right, it's gonna go right here. There. Now everyone's crazy comfortable. You see how good I am? Oh yeah, let's put all this shit in storage. I didn't know this game was gonna be that detailed, to be honest with you. Alcohol? First aid kit? Mushrooms? Chemicals, revolver ammo, adrenaline. I don't. I don't need the drugs. I'll put the food in storage. Mechanical parts, calming salts. Can't have too many of those. Should I leave the AK for now? Yeah, I'm gonna leave the AK. I feel like me and my pistol and my amazing stealth abilities. What is this? Revolver ammo? Why can't I mix y'all? Alright. Get out of that boxer out. It was my own stuff! Oh, do I have to go and sleep in my own bed? You gotta follow me? It sounded like you were just moving, dude. I feel like he's got that one thing for that one movie where he's got the, the strong hand, like the little raptor claw one. That what you doing? Got a little, got a little raptor claw? Is that a sloth? From this distance, from where I'm at to that monitor, you can tell it's like arm's length. Uh, it's, it's over my arm's length away. You know, from both of my monitors here. It looked like a very strange butthole. So I had to get real close to this to be like, that's, that's a sloth. Why, why, okay, so there's knife fighting. Olaf's got a cleaver. Now there's a weird sloth in here. Oh, very strange. Anybody there? Hey! Answer the radio for once, you cocksuckers! This is fucking important, come on! Don't leave me standing here with my dick in my hand! <laughs> Who is this? Who is this? Are you retarded? <laughs> it's your fucking landlord, Scroat. By the way, how are you enjoying your stay, Mr. Kimenyuk? Excuse Mikhail? me? I'm in the middle of something. None of that Brad, is appropriate like for a normal I conversation. Hope you leave it in the same pristine condition you found it. You got a real bargain, you know. But now we uh, need Mikhail to talk is business. Is chat. Anton and Olivier around? Anton is... He was killed. Oh my, uh, what a pity. Yeah, he was such a nice guy. Uh, perhaps too fucking nice. Yep, I'd bet my last cigarette that's what got him killed. I don't think so. What do you want, Mikhail? I need you to return the favor and help me wipe the NAR database. That's how all of us are. And before you me. start bitching about it, I know you're not that kind of scientist. I'll walk you through the whole thing. I should use any opportunity I get to hurt NAR. Okay, I'll do it. That's my brave lad. Head to the building in the Duga complex. I'll be in touch. Oh, the Duga complex. It's so angry in the background. Yeah, I'm turning that down a little bit. Olaf, why are you so mean? Fooster, I think I, I mentioned this the last time we were shooting the shit. I feel like we need to send Olaf 
to to anger management. I feel like we need to send him to anger management classes. I feel like I overheard your conversation with Mikhail. Don't tell me track. you're actually going. Mikhail is a bit off, but he's not wrong about crippling NAR. It could buy us some time. He sounds like a sociopath. Do you trust him? No, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to deal with him. We only need him because of this warehouse. Right now, he looks more like a liability than an asset. On the other hand, you might discover something important. I don't know. Uh. Nah, it's too risky. You should ignore him. I think I'm going to go along on this one thing, and see how it goes. I strongly advise against that. I know his type. He probably eats his Wheaties with cocaine in the morning. What's Thank wrong with Wheaties in the morning? for those wise words of wisdom. Let's table this Everyone discussion. Everyone here is unhinged as shit. So, okay. Olaf, it says he is really small and fast, though. He will just sneak out. Booster, you have been in VC with Olaf. You have seen his streams. How loud is Olaf when he goes and gets something from his fucking kitchen? You can hear that dude banging pots and pans. Like, like it is loud as shit. Key shots, OP. Okay, Pro calm it down, Proto. I keep waiting for the Olaf shotgun gift to pop up in chat. Facts. I don't. Olaf is very small. You've got that 100% correct. And fast. One of my steps is like eight of Olaf's steps. Okay, so that's 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 not, there's no fast about it. I mean, just because his legs move very fast doesn't mean he's going at a at a fast distance or a far distance. Just because the little legs are just that's it. What do you have? Shit, they've been reconstructed, Olaf. I had bad knees. I had bad knees, but they've been fixed. I'm just worried about re-breaking them. There's a loud sound coming from this game. It really reminds me of Among Us. I can't unhear it. There. Is that better, Fooster? Is that better? High metabolism anger is a byproduct. They have been reconstructed. <laughs> That's how you sound, Olaf. He's a dwarven warrior. <laughs> that was a video game. What, replacement knees? I would play that. Mom and dad are fighting again. Listen, if there's any opportunity I get to shit on Olaf, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. You don't know the amount of abuse and, and psychological trauma that goes on in our DMs. He, I'm, I'm so polite. I am so polite in DMs. Super polite. And he just yells. He just yells straight away. And I'm just like, tear. And, and, and it hurts sometimes. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry at stream. <laughs> and, oh, Booster, I already brought him up. I already brought up the falling asleep in Discord thing. Where we had to three, two, one scream at him. And then he got up and he's like, oh, I need to go to bed soon. I'm, I'm kind of tired. We're like, motherfucker, you were just snoring. Like, we're all, we're in a deep conversation. Olaf just knocks out. Not impressed. Doesn't give a shit about what we're talking about. Falls asleep. That's how important we are to Olaf. That's how important we are to Olaf. He doesn't, he has, no, it's a stick figure making a humping gesture. And it says your feelings after that. Okay. It doesn't actually have the F-bomb in the hoodie, Olaf. I almost wore that this morning, by the way. Olaf is the most genuine person in the world. That's why we love him. Very small feelings, but still, okay. <laughs> I, the, I almost wore that hoodie. I was looking, I was picking out which one I wanted to wear to wear. All right, let's, let's, let's go back in. All right, Igor, what's next? Hold on, can I give him the AK? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, if I can give him the AK, I'm gonna do it. 
I only got 10 rounds, but still. I feel like his his success rate. What's our next move, boss? He doesn't need the ammo, apparently. I mean, that, that's convenient. You can just have an AK without... Alright. Good for you then, dude. Just to make sure you just throw shit at him. I don't even loot myself. How dare you, people? Let's make it happen. Do you see this, Fooster? Do you see what he's doing? Do you see what he's doing? He's fishing. He's fishing for the compliments right now. He's try he's trying to make this all about him. Just like Hunt Showdown, everything's about him in the bayou. Not about his team. You, you hear when he plays Hunt Showdown? Oh, oh, you guys can revive me. It's not, hey, you guys can revive each other. It's you have to get me up. It's never about the team. It's about Olaf. It's about Olaf. Rating chat for compliments. I, I can hear him starting to get ragey. I'm not! I'm not doing this! <laughs> chat does nothing. <laughs> wow, Ski keeping the truth away. I can hear you getting mad. I can audibly hear it. <laughs> I, I don't have armor to give you, dude. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I made an armor crafting station. <gasps> Can I make stuff? Where is it? Did that just drop? I need herbs. Did I put them all away? No, I gotta get more. It's either I can... You know what? I'm gonna give... I'm, you know what? I'm selfless, unlike Olaf. I'm gonna give him. Let's do this. I'm gonna give him the armor I made. All right. Selfless ski. Do you see that? Do you see that? All of them never do this. Revive me if you can. And I'm... no, no, no. He says, "Do it right now." Get shot trying to pick me up. That's what he says. I had a beer. I can't be mad. Olaf Shush, or I swear I will message Summit to copyright strike you out of existence. <gasps> Sorry, Olaf, I bet Proto. Summit can suck on my big toe. Why, why you? Why do you got? Olaf, why you got to go into toes? Toe sucking. I'm trying to. I'm trying to play a game here, and you're bringing up your foot fetish. Why, Olaf? No! The weather in Chernobyl changes every day. The rain can mute the noises you're making. The fog obscures the line of sight of your opponents. This can be used to your advantage. Modify the exclusion zone and adjust your equipment to the situation before you go on a mission. I don't have any equipment. I have a pistol. Okay? A pistol in a dream. Chat. A pistol in a dream. Oh, it actually, I didn't know this earlier. It actually highlights the area you can send your people to. So. All right, I'm going to send homeboy to Kopachi. He's got a 99% success right here. He's got a 99%. You, you go to Kopachi, Oliver. And then I'm going to go to Moscow's Eye. I'm gonna rename myself to Olaf 1G. Proto, Proto dropped the ball so bad on his rebrand. He could have renamed himself because it was always Proto 1. But I always told him that he should have named himself to Proto 1 Pump. That's all he, that's all he is. One Pump Chump. All right, Proto 1 Pump would have been astounding. You would have, you would have had all the, all the subscribers, Proto. All of them. All the followers, all the subscribers. Ski Ski 1G. Ski Ski YT. Ski T T T V. Ski Ski T T V. <laughs> Olaf DK.
Ski Ski TTV Kick YT. Do you really trust Mikhail? Perhaps no. you just want to follow the crazy and see like how crazy. deep the rabbit hole goes. Once you cross that bridge, there's no turning back. The NAR will have you in their crosshairs. <laughs> Olaf, I saw how excited you got when you just typed in Ski Ski TTV Kick YT. I could feel your excitement level. Anytime we're playing Hunt Showdown and somebody has TTV, which is like Twitch TV, that means they're a streamer, you know what I mean? But we, we, we constantly have this thing. When you're playing Hunt Showdown, you're playing it against a lot of toxic ass players. So there's so many times where I've went into somebody's stream and somebody's in there just trolling the shit out of that chat because they just got destroyed in the last fight. So they're just sitting there shit talking. So I was like, why would you have TTV in your name? So when me and Olaf say they pick up a bounty, it'll say their name across the top of the screen, and it'll say TTV. Me and Olaf instinctively just scream, TTV! <laughs> like, every time. <laughs> I followed a guy from it the other day when we were playing. Me, Olaf, and Vixen had a really good fight. And um, we ended up taking down the, 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 the two, two or three teams that were there. And then, like, when I went over to his channel, he was like, that was a great fight. Like, it was positive as hell. What? Did you say to me? Did she say something about a pizza party? Pizza party. Tatiana, shush. She doesn't know how. Okay, so my main objective is that way. I'm not gonna go into the further radiation points. Just gotta take the loot. Do all the loots. So that I can craft better stuffs. Alright, I can get all the good stuffs. Oh, I thought I thought that leaf right there was a person. I was about to end that motherfucker. I would have done it too. I forgot to make lockpicks! Wait, I, did I miss another herb? Herbs and spices? I love different herbs and spices. KFC. KFC TTV! I did not like that. How bad did that hurt my radiation? That actually hurt me a bit. Can I not go around this? Oh, I forgot! I forgot to put skill points in when I was back at my house! Chat, you distracted me! Olaf, it was you and your tantrum that it distracted me. In the middle of this arguing, I have no clue what the game is about except for Skew looks, looking for an old night. Pretty much. Two missing 30 years ago. I'm here in Chernobyl, trying to figure out what the fuck happened. So I keep getting like flashbacks, plus I have a weird teleporter device. So I think I might be able to go back in time, like like Shaq, when he went Shaq in time. I think there was a movie about Shaq going back. Shaq in time, I think was a thing. Go in Shaq in time. I think there was a movie about Shaq and Time. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up after this. Somebody sees me. I don't see shit. Skill point? I can't use the skill points until I'm back at the base, though. So I've leveled up twice, but... I've level. I've got two levels, but I'm not allowed to use them just yet.
Take the, use that paint bucket and booby trap my house with it like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. I'll do it too. I'm crazy. So I didn't know there was so much looting in this Olaf. So wait a minute, it pulled up my build menu there. Can I randomly build on a map as like a crafting station? I told you, Ski, I don't listen to you sometimes, Olaf. A lot of the times you're just bragging about Hunt Showdown. Olaf, is this one of your dolls? Because of that, I'm gonna brag more. <laughs> Olaf! That one right there is Olaf. Oh, <laughs> or that one. Actually, that one looks more like me. Oh my god. That, that's a mullet. That is a fucking mullet. Why is Olaf the only one that stayed? Why is Olaf's head the only one that stayed? Did anyone else notice that? What? Sorcery! That's how I looked when I had hair. <laughs> What's up, Al? Doll kisser? No. Nub, welcome in. Got any more of that loots? Got any of those loots? The loots and the glutes? Got a lot of shit of it. All right, somebody spotted me out here before. There's a lot of shit back this way. No, no, you're not gonna find me. You're not gonna find me. Bam! Can't, can't stop, won't stop. I oh, know somebody's on my right because my little my little stealth stealthometer went up. Hal, you know what's funny? Remember I was talking to you yesterday about trying to get a credit card through my bank, and then they were like, "Yeah, you have to come in in person." So after I was on on hold from them for like 45 minutes yesterday, um, I told you my my dad was like, "That is the dumbest shit I've ever heard." I'm going to go in there tomorrow and yell at him. And I was like, all right, you do that, you know? So my pops went in today and bitched at him. And then they were like, oh, son of a bitch, lockpick. Um, they're like, oh, well, he sh while I'm, I was on the phone with the technician yesterday, you know, like the, the person that works at the bank, you know, they said I had to 100% be in person. My dad went in there and was like, yo, why, everything's on the internet. He's like, I don't know how to do it, but my kid knows how to do this shit. They're like, oh, well, he could have just, he could just apply for the credit card online. Now you think when I tell the lady on the phone, on the phone that I'm out of state, I'm out of state from that bank, you know, that I was like, it's, I'm not going to be able to come in. You think she would just say over the phone to me, over the phone. You think she would just say, uh, hey, you can, you can, since you're out of state, you know what I mean? And I don't know how long you're going to be out of state for. You can just go online and apply for the credit card there and we can send it to you, blah, blah, blah. You would think, right? Huh? Nothing. Nothing. Legitimately gave me zero fucking insight on that. And I was like, bro, like you saved me for one. I had to sit there and be on the phone on hold for 40 minutes. And then two, I had to talk to a human that gave me zero help. The fucking machine would have gave me more help than her. I was fucking pissed. I saw that text message right before I started streaming for my old man and I was like, Mother motherfuckers. I was so, I was so irritated by that. It was so dumb. 
Sorry about my miss and stuff. Tension pond. Yeah, yeah, all good, Slim. I'm, I'm running around and looting. I'm trying to get to somewhat of plot progression instead of me just going and looting and getting people and stuff like that so far. I mean, I, I saw, I looked on YouTube and I saw what like a full playthrough of this game would have been. And I don't know if that's covering 100% of the basics, but it was like 12 hours and I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing all that today. So I figured I'm gonna get the basis of a setup in the game, maybe an hour or two more. And then um, I'm probably gonna call it for the afternoon. I, Arlandria? When I went to college, I was 30. When I was 30 or th 30 or one, they had a picture on the on the wall. Okay, and I was already in class for a few weeks, so we kind of know the guys at the class. But I'm obviously one of the older people there, and um, there was a sign on the wall, and it was a fucking flip phone. All right, like an old T9 ABC one two three flip phone. And these kids, I'm in the back of the classroom. You know, I'm in the back of the classroom, and these kids are sitting there shit talking it. And it, you know, do you remember when like the old flip phones you could have like stickers and that would be the like the casing of your phone you know what i mean i had a camo sticker that was over it okay so i was really fancy but i pulled out my cell phone which was a t9 and i put it on my desk and i'm like i don't know why the fuck y'all talking shit they're like yo yo ski man like you you good like we're not we ain't trying to... <laughs> like, they got all nervous because i was like what the fuck's wrong with a flip phone you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we 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 didn't know. <laughs> like I, I was sitting there, like my teacher started laughing. My teacher was 62 years old. He was my my chef, you know. He reached into his pocket and pulled out his cell phone, which was also a T9 flip phone. Me and that guy were in sync. All right, not like the band in sync, but we are in in I N sync. You know, we weren't dancing and singing though. You know. Can't insult the grandma, grandpa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was fast as fuck with the T9 phone. Cause like, you know, I had one when I was in the service, you know what I mean? And when I got out, it was kind of just like a burner that I didn't care about. But here's the thing. I don't really, I'm not on my phone a lot, even here. You know what I mean? Even at the house, I don't use it for really shit. I have a laptop, I have a PC. I don't need to sit on my phone and use it for the internet. And like, I, I pay, you know, like 70 bucks a month or some shit for my phone. And I, I go through like 40 or 50 text messages a month and maybe an hour or two of phone calls, which is normally to like my parents, which are not in the same state. Other than that, it's like me talking to a realtor or something like that. So it's normally a more professional style conversation when I'm on the phone. You know, like me and me talking to my mom. I mean, it's my mother, you know, or my, me and my pops. When we're on the phone, me and him, we call each other. We get whatever we need to say out. And then you can tell one of us wants to get off the line within 10 minutes. So. I still have a flip phone. Sadly, it's one of those modern ones. I'm going to get shot because I'm not paying attention. Ooh, another statue. Oh, so this is dudes in the firefighters. No, I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming it might have been like the first responders on. Stop right there. You're on Primpy and Bradfa term now. I didn't um, even know he was there. What? Where? Bradfa. Primpy and Bradfa. I didn't even you see You must this guy. be new here, huh? A tourist? What's your name? Oh, hardly. I moved here in 1985. The name's Igor. It was quite a different place back then. I haven't seen this 1985, story. that's, um, three, uh, five, hmm. Oh, more than ten years ago. Let's do drunk You know what that shit. means, Igor? <laughs> You're one of us. Pribby and Bradford. Exactly. And Pribby and Bradford rules. That's right. Really? How many of you are in this Bradford? Um... There were many of us not so long ago, but it's just me now. I'm the boss. And you, you can be my right-hand man. Thanks, I guess. So what happened to the rest of your pals? 
Uh, let me think. Sasha was arrested. Grisha was shot dead. Oleg fell down some stairs. Olaf! Vova drowned he in the river. Some stairs? And Aloysia was eaten by a crocodile. But... But there are no crocodiles in Pripyat. No, not a real crocodile. A crocodile. The drug. Uh, you mean decimorphine? No, I've heard about that stuff. It's basically poison. You should keep your guys away from it. Strong what guys? Was I told you, it's just me now. Evgeny is all that's left. Evgeny! And uh, you, of course. My second in command. We should celebrate with a drink, but the NIR confiscated my moonshine. But now you're here. Privyat Bratvo will rebuild, and we'll hit those NAR bastards hard. They'll never see it coming. I like them. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of things do you have? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, you don't know? Duh. I sell boxes of loot. I never open them, so I don't know what's in them. Well, that doesn't make any sense. We smoke 20 Each box for is sure. totally random. <laughs> yeah. Duh. My loot boxes are like a it's box like of It's like the chocolates. Russian version of you never know the, the Marlboro Man. <laughs> That's deep. I know. Ksenia told me I was the biggest physologier in our neighborhood. Physologier. It's very simple. One food ration for one box of loot. One box a day. Igor, we just met, but I feel like I've known you for years. You're like a brother to me now. Have a free box of loot on me. This dude's great. But don't tell anyone. It's a secret. A broad for secret. Tell you what's up. This dude, this dude is great. This, the, this is people like this, 100% that I've met at bars. And I've just shot the shit with them because they're just crazy. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, let's have a conversation. You can help me, friend. I'm looking for a woman. Her name's Tatyana Amelieva. Tatiana. Ah, a beautiful name. She sounds like a beautiful woman. He sounds Tell like my me. old boss. <laughs> you have some photos? Uh, uh no. No, I, I had one, but, uh... Ah, uh, too bad. I've never heard of her. She's your woman, right? <laughs> ah, love. I was in love once. Ksenia. Oh, what a woman she was. She promised to cut my balls off if I ever betrayed her. <laughs> And uh, did she? What a funny guy you are. <laughs> I really like you. Nah, she didn't. She dumped me. But she said I was too smart for her. Oh, really? So, uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? <laughs> well, there's wow. something fishy happening in the power plant. Those NAR fuckers have been running around like crazy lately. And there's this creepy fuck with a black mask hunting for something. Whatever it is, it's How's bad the guy that for killed business. What's his name? He leaves me alone, but he scares my customers. So you do have other customers? What did I just say? That fucker's been scaring him away. If it wasn't for him, this place would be busier than the Ismailovsky market. Right? This dude is the, my favorite character so far. You mentioned something about trade. What kind of thing? Sorry, Igor. No. Okay, so he doesn't have so, anything else. Uh, anything interesting going on around here lately? Well, no worries, so I'd have a good one. happening in the power plant. Those NAR and there's this okay. leaves. So you what did I just... Okay, so... I better be going now. Brought for forever, Igor. Brought for forever, bro. Anti-radiation medicine, which is nice. I did have food on me. So I was going to give him the food. But, you know, that legitimately, that was the best thing. Because I didn't see him there. I'm so glad we stumbled upon that guy. Legitimately my favorite character in this game so far. I would make that guy a very fancy bet at my house. Ooh. Shit. I, I always, like, melee click on accident. So he said the guy with the black mask. That was the guy that shut up. Um, oh, I don't. I gotta get. I gotta make uh, lockpicks. Yeah, he said that the black masked guy um, is is somewhere here by the power plant. So I gotta be like extra super cautious. 
That's not a word, but you know what I mean. Great. Another place I can't get into because I'm stupid. I was already in here, right? Yeah, because everything's downstairs and locked. Weird, weird babies giggling I heard again. Yeah, I gotta make uh, lock picks. So remind me the next time I go back to the base. Could you not? Why does it keep telling me to go in there? Like that's my main objective and it's Yeah, you're saying something's in here, but where? Ten meters, nine meters. <laughs> I gotta run, have a good one, dudes and dudettes. No worries, I'll land you, have fun. Why, why? Uh, you're here. Good. Let's get to it. Canandria. You gotta make lock. Well, thank you. Before we begin, there's something I need to ask you. I'm looking for a woman. That's all it needs to not exist. <laughs> There's not many women around here. Then try Kiev or maybe Slavonich. I don't mean a prostitute. I'm looking for someone specific. Tatiana Amelieva. Uh, sorry, I don't know any Tatianas around here. Look, we're on the fucking clock. Can we get on with this? Alrighty then. First up, every mission needs a code name that is totally unrelated to the job itself. Any ideas? Code name. I don't care. I don't care. It's weird, but it's not going to work for our purposes. How about Panzerkampfwagen? Hey, you like it, right? <laughs> Good. Anyway, I tracked down the comms vehicle that does the rounds every week. There's a laptop inside that you need to get at. And? And upload an exploit that'll get you inside. I'll walk you through it. Fine. Let's hope it works. Look sharp! The truck is coming! Commence Operation Panzerkampfwagen! The fucking Panzerkampfwagen is on, my man! Over and out! Alright, I'm not even gonna lie. The interaction with, the, like, you know, the other NPCs in the game or whatever, you know what I mean, like your crew, is hilarious. This is all... Just, just wild. I enjoy games that put a lot of effort into the dialogue. If you can have just wildly funny characters, I mean, that's gold. Operation Pants are coming often? <laughs> of course. I didn't even have to say shit, and chat just took it there. I think I saw one that way. Yep, he's right there. You can see the back of his head. They could make or break a game for me a thousand percent. How is there not more like herbs and stuff? Like this is the most grassy area I've seen. There's a guy right there. As long as he stays looking that way, I'm gonna be. Oh, I screwed myself. Huh? Oh, it's probably a rat or something. Exactly. Oh, you see the stealth chat? Sneak level 8 million. Some good voice actors that make the game better by being enthusiastic about it. Right. 
Like I said, this this is this is gold for me. And like I said, since I never really watched any playthrough of it, you know, I've been told by a bunch of people that this was always a good game. That's it? No chorus? I mean, I, I was, I was in it. I was in it. He had my vote. I should have taken that job at my father-in-law's factory. Shit. Da na 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 na. Do uh. The Mentos commercial. How do I get in here? Shit. I thought I saw something. Weird. Da 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 The jig is up! How do I get into that building? Copyright? I'm not worried about that guy singing. I like how they saw me and I just ran and then they're like, oh. What, what is that one? Uh, I think it's called Viva La Dirt League. Like they are hilarious when they, like, like I walked, I watched one and it was about um, like them doing like stealth takedowns and stuff like that. And they were just shooting the guys and they're like, huh. Must have been my imagination, you know what I mean? Like when the NPCs just walk off after you like shot them with arrows and stuff like it, it was so it's so funny. So these got the entrance has got to be on the other side, but it won't let me go back over the gate. What a stupid job. I was stupid enough to take it. I'm right in front of this guy, but he doesn't see me. Sneak level 18,006. But then there's this other idiot over here. Probably more fucking mice. Better check anyways. Loser, kill your opponents first. I'm, I'm sneaky. You can't see me. Sir. I don't want to have to take people out, but you left me no choice. All right. One of ours? Shit. Where'd he go? Ah, shit. Oh, that's cheap. It's cheating, bro. We could have been friends. We could have been friends. Kind of bad friends, chat. Mikhail, I've got the laptop. Tell me what to do. Great fucking job. Type in www.heartisalonelyhunter.ru and press enter. Download the last file in the column. The one called a Sweet Only Boy Will Meet Sugar Mom. Cool name, yeah? Execute the file and voila, you got access to their database. Uh, unless you screw something up. Next step is to Sweet get to Lonely Comstown Boy will meet Sugar Mom. Hey, Igor. Before you rush off, look for some intel first. You want to find Tatiana, remember? Olivier is right. There must be something in the NAR database about Tatiana. Fuck, no, you can't do that! If you start digging around, they'll lock you out, and we'll lose our shot at kicking them in the digital nuts! Remember, you still need to get to the comms tower and upload the actual virus. Can you provide some kind of distraction? Absolutely. In fact, I've been waiting for you to ask. Language. I, I don't. I can't control. I can't control any of this.
took a couple shots. And it took a little bit of emotional damage by by defending myself. Hold on, it says 30 meters to something. Well, can I steal the truck? Can't steal the truck, but I could steal what was in the truck. Ooh, got some of those herbs. My virgin ears. Sorry, Taco. I can't control the the AIs. You got this? Oh, I I I'm Why are you pointing your gun at me, you barbarian? We've got bigger problems. What did you just call me? On the ground. I hate to break it to you, but there's a goddamn monster running around, and I promise you it won't care about your little rifle. We have to get the hell out of here. On the ground, now! I won't tell you again. Shoot me if you want! Leave him alone! Leave him alone. I'm saving him, chat. Citizen, I can tell you're a good man. Not like those vandals. I just need to catch my. I just saved his life. With, you see that? Uh, shouldn't we be running from the monster? What? <laughs> Don't worry. That was just a ruse to get past these brutes. Really? It almost cost you your life. Audendum est fortis adiubat ipsa venus. What is that, Latin? What does it mean? It means you should have paid more attention in school, citizen. Now go, before a real monster shows up. Did you not? Are you gonna join me? Like I, I figured he would, he would join the cause. Guess not. <laughs> Stop. Thanks. I wish you would save my life. Okay. Okay. Hey! Hey, you! Hey, cocksuckers! What's up? I'm over here! Is this what you guys do for work when you come back from Syria? Contact. Second floor. Don't let him get away! How do I get in there? Oh, the broken wall that's right to my right. <laughs> Okay. Hold on a second. Before I go over to the actual thing, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna check. So he had it booby trapped, and he just dropped everybody. Oh, I have a shotgun too. <laughs> Why do I always swing? Oh yeah. Look at, look at all the AKs downstairs. But watch, it's gonna be in a locked room. But yeah, before I before I go there and. Uh, Before I go to my actual objective. Okay, so everything looks like it's downstairs. I'm gonna go see if I can get all the loots. All the loots, chat. So good at this. How do I get in there? Sorcery! Why is there so many doors but none of them let me in? Shit, somebody's right there. Yeah!
I just want to go in the building. Plus, the only way I can go in it was from the upstairs. Oh, hold on. Is that like a weird jump puzzle? No, it doesn't get me any closer. It just puts me on a roof. All right, so I'm back where I started here. How did I get upstairs before? Serious brain fart. I want all the loot, but it's not progressing me anywhere. Oh, okay, so it was over here. Let me see if I can find an alternate way down. If not, we're just gonna keep going. Mentos precious. I don't know why I have the Mentos song stuck in my head. I get down there. There's doors I can't open. This place is a prison. Alright. Whatever. We're just gonna keep going towards uh, the radio tower here. Did he just blow himself up? God damn it! Mikhail! Mikhail! <laughs> I'm fine! <laughs> but uh, don't come near the building. I think the charges were too close to the chemical dump. What do you think is in those barrels? Fuck! Maybe you should call Gas Brom's emergency line. <laughs> just get the hell out of there. Ah, don't worry about me. Just wipe the servers. Go to www.hardisalonelyhunter.ru, download smelly panties of doom, and execute. I wish you could search the data, but you only get to enter a single command before it boots you out, so no typos. Fuck this maniac, Igor. Query the database while you've got the chance. Sorry, Mikhail. I need to know if NER was involved in Tatiana's disappearance. Smelly panties of doom. So, Tatiana was under KGB surveillance. Why? What did they want with her? Johnny be good, Voyager. All right. Now what am I supposed to do? Chemical engineer, she worked on the Lennon plane at Tremotable. She was served by a KGB agent. Is that it? Is that all I was supposed to do here? What the fuck was that? Oh, it's the, the stuff I can't pick up yet. That scares me every time. Внимание, внимание. 
на Чернобыльской атомной электростанции в городе Трехиси, городской совет народных депутатов, That scared the shit out of me. So I'm getting radiation pretty good from in here. Dun, 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 dun. You don't have to be lonely? Oh, okay. I, Tatiana Amalieva. Okay. Thanks. Oh, so this is the dude. Can I talk to him again? No. There's the other guy. Oh, so the circles on my map are people. So 110 meters is the other guy I was already at. The question mark places are, I'm assuming, just places with loot. The big one was my actual objective. Okay, okay. These are like just points of interest. Is a dude just sleeping here? Homeboy just knocked out. Alright, okay. Whoa, what's in here? Attention, attention. <laughs> that, I'm telling you, when that comes over like the loudspeaker or whatever the hell, it scares me because I just I just don't know what it, it means. Okay, so I have one more question mark and then I'll, I'll use the teleporter thingy and go back to wherever the hell I came from. What is that? How do I get up there? Shit, that's a lot of radiation. Nope. I don't see a hole in the fence where you're trying to tell me to go. Take you, Igor Kimunik, as my wedded husband, and I promise you love, honor, and respect to be faithful to you and not to forsake you until death do us part. Is that her gravesite? Like I'm, I'm, I'm legit confused. All right, there's one more question mark on my map here. This should be the last one, and then I can, I can get out. I'm reading American Horse Magazines and watching the X-Files. The X-Files is fantastic. Shit, there's two of them? Me and my buddy Bob, years and years back, we went on, he bought the entire He was right next to me. Um, he bought the entire like box set of all the X-Files DVDs. Me and that dude just sat and binged them. Just binged them for like, I don't even know how many weeks. Oh, there's a guy in there. What's up, dude? Patrolling a Pripyat almost makes you wish you were someplace else. 
trying to have a conversation with you, dude. I don't know how to get in there, though. Let me see if I can find him. Let me see if I can find a way into that building. Other than that, we might have found a third guy. Oh, here we go. He's got a gun, too. Do you have open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? Do you have to open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? What? Heed the call from the void. I have to go. Have a good day. Next, have a good one. Heed the call from the void. Pete, what's up? Pete the chef. Pete, do you enjoy... Pete, how long have you been a chef, and do you still enjoy it? I'm curious. Repeat the words coming from my dead lips. Repeat the words coming from my dead lips. This dude not trying to. Marana Domus Nava Cranatus. This this might end very dark. Domus Nava Cranatus. Crudux cruo. Crudux cruo. Stop grasping what cannot be grasped. Stop grasping what cannot be grasped. Is my wife a kid that's just mocking the shit out of Forget everything this guy says? Her. Forget about her. Dig deeper, and pain is all you're going to find. 24 years Dig and I still like... Dig deeper, live. and pain is all you're going to find. That I, I did it for 10. Dead. I was a chef for about 10. That which can I, I, I just didn't want to do it anymore. Eons, even love may die. I'm that glad you still have that, like, that, that fire, That which though. can eternally lie, and with strange eons, even love may die. So I'm just gonna let this weird Ouija board shit keep going. Do you have open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? Do you have to open graves to find girls to fall in love with, Igor? Is this just repeating Heed now? Heed the call from the void. Heed the call from the void. Repeat the words. Okay. Coming from uh, uh, this dude's just gonna keep on, keep it on. No. Got some ammo. Where's that revolver? Hey, where, where's your where's your revolver? All right, I'm getting out of here. I think that was the last place I needed to find. Is this open world? Kind of, Grim. I mean, pretty much. Like you can build your base and upgrade, and there's all sorts of weird missions you can do. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty. Like, you go to an area and you can loot there. And then you have to kind of transport back to your base. And then, which I'm at now. So he got me some ammo. But then you assign, like, the people that join you. You have to make them beds and stuff. So it has a very Fallout 4 aspect of it. Of uh, you, like, making beds for people. And making sure everybody eats and stuff like that. So... But you have to, you've got to constantly keep your people happy and you can come back and make stuff, blah, 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 blah. And then at the end of the night you sleep and then the next day you can wake up and do different missions. But you can kind of do like a mission a day and go and explore and take stuff, so. Lock pick and skills, yes. I don't know where I gotta go to do the skills at though. Yeah, that's just for ammo. I have to have, hold on, I wanna make armor too. Movement noise minus three. Oh, it takes away my, ooh. I can make a ghillie at some point. Ooh, I would want that. Cause I, you know, as stealthy as I am. Oh, I, I did get a shotgun too. Let me see what I can make here.
Okay, so the work table I already have. That's that's the first thing I built. Um, laser cutting machine. High quality furniture. Where would I have built the... Crafting tools. Crafting tools right here. Um, laboratory, no. Roller bending. Rubber and gaskets. There's a lot of stuff in here. I, I need to... Ski, you have to talk to Oliver. Pick locks. I don't know. I say a lot of weird shit. Igor, the gun I gave you has traveled all around the world with me, but it's quite old. What do you think about building a calibration tool to upgrade it? Sounds good. I'll fabricate one when I get the chance. You need it, Igor. This revolver needs an overhaul, Igor. A calibration tool would do the tr Okay, train. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> no. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival skills or shooting. But I'll be happy to teach you some basics. It'll make my job easier too if you know how to handle yourself out there. Takedown is quieter and it won't affect. So I feel like stealth and takedowns. If I can like sneakily take the guys out without making my guy insane, I think that's going to be a bonus. Perfect. Let's do it. Follow me. Taking out your enemy requires guts. Oh. Taking out your enemy quietly is an art. I think you've got what it takes to do the former, but you suck mightily at the latter. Now, the lesson is about knocking out your opponent without being spotted by him or anyone else. Oh, I got to go the to the secret lies in understanding human anatomy as well as stealth. Like it's about knowing generals? how to apply enough force to put your opponent out of commission without killing them. Let's put theory into practice. Sneak up on me and perform a chokehold. Don't worry about hurting me. I'm a professional. Suck mightily. I... Let's begin. Still take down. Why did he moan when he did that? He was okay, like, eh Igor, eh enough. Eh that was impressive. Well done, soldier. I don't, I don't know why he made that oddly sexual. Uh, that made me uncomfortable doing that. I don't know. I don't know if that's the proper way to teach me how to do this. Like, if he would have said, like, harder daddy or some shit, I would have just ended the game. I would have just been like, that's it. I'm fucking done, Oliver. I have done with your shit. What's going on, Igor? It's a defensive tactic? Okay. Do you think you could find some time to teach me oh, some of your man. military tricks? He's, he's pushing the line there. <laughs> no. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival skills or shooting. But I'll be happy to teach you some basic. Okay, so I only have one more skill point. I mean, I could say fuck it and take it into precision. Yeah, Grim, when I go up to after I sleep, it'll show me different areas in like the Chernobylite game that I could go to. To go for like ammunitions, food, you know, supply drops, blah blah blah, stuff like that. So, 
I think I think I'm gonna wait for stealth. I think I'm gonna wait for stealth. Maybe some other time. So for the he boss, wanted, Igor. He wanted a calibration unit. Wouldn't this be like this is like a crafting table? Wouldn't I just use that to make lockpicks? Like I don't, I don't. Oh, that that's I guess that's just the regular. Okay. Okay. Figuring stuff out. Weapon smith, armor smith, containers. So it'd be under. Revolver calibration. I'm proud of you, Igor. Not enough power. Why does it make me back out every time? Base upgrades. Power supply. I just stack them. Now I can get stealth. I need to make an industrial grinder. Industrial grinder. All right. Hoagies and grinders. Hoagies and grinders. Uh, I'm going to figure it out. Don't get me wrong. Roller bending, recycler, industrial grinder. But I need to build a laser cutting machine first. So what's the laser cutting machine? Where's the laser cutting machine? So I feel like I have to build everything in like a... I don't know, I'm just gonna start building shit. I'm just gonna start building shit. I'm building everything. All right. Power tools. Oh, I'm out of chemicals. So let's see. Air quality, radiation safety. Look at that, I'm gonna make an air conditioner. Lurking, yeah, yeah, all good. I, I'm, I'm, I didn't need to build that. Oh my God. This is one of those things that I'd want to learn off, off key. Weapon Smith, armor Smith, containers. Electrical, check and calibration, rifle calibration, crossbow calibration. You can stack equipment? Yeah, 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 yeah.
Got a lot of ammo on me. Just don't even try. I'll, I'm gonna, I'll, what I'm gonna do is after I'm ending stream today, I'll figure out what I need, and then I'll come back on, and then I'll, I'll do a lot more base building because otherwise I'm just gonna turn yourself into a dangerous bastard oh, yeah, so yeah, you I can protect others. I'm proud of you, Igor. Do you think you could find some time to teach me some of your military tricks? <laughs> no. There are no tricks or shortcuts when it comes to improving your survival, but I'll be... Let's get the stealth. Perfect. Let's do it. Follow me. And then I'll do like one more mission and then I'm gonna call it for the day. Um, but I'll, I'll come back on and if I gotta grind to get small stuff like that, and then I can come back to the game. I'm going I to share some techniques I learned game. in Joint Task Force 2. But I want to get good enough During that I can mission, just During a mission, it's usually go, better to sneak in and out um, rather than gun down every opponent. That's what I'm going to teach you today. I want today. to be able to progress the Stealth. story a lot instead of doing Let's a lot of side missions. Let's start with some missions. basics. Try to sneak past me using available cover. Remember to stay low. Keep quiet and move quickly whenever you're out in the open. Be like a ghost. I am a ghost. Ready? Go! Hungry like the bull. But banana, na 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 What was that? My grandma makes less noise walking was hiding dead leaves the tree. in her steel toed boots, soldier. Wow. Let's try again. He said his grandma was stealthier Igor. than me. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in like Chernobyl. So it would make sense to wear a gas mask. I'm in, I'm in a highly radiated zone. Are we like hold off Duran Duran? Yes. He's just going the same path here. It says I'm in the area, like I don't get it. There's something I gotta pick up. I'll wait until he turns around again, though. I'm in said, like, sneak area. Like, I don't get... This makes zero sense. I've already passed him. And now you're telling me to go three meters back that way. Listen, I already passed the guy. I'm a ghost. Do you not see it? I did it. I gotta take his ass out. Well done, Igor. You're a natural. I just had to, I had to tap him on the shoulder. I had to tap him on the shoulder. That's all I had to do. All right, so he's telling me that my house is uncomfortable, so let's do something real quick. He said it makes him...
Look at that. Now they're gonna have very comfortable places to sit. All right. Let's see. Is he still bitch? Is he still gonna bitch at me? What's going on, Igor? Your base isn't very comfortable, and it makes your companion twitchy. What a brat. What a brat. He wants, like, some fucking Hilton. You know, you, you can't you can't please everybody. All right, you guys know that. Oh my god, I don't have enough fuel. I don't have enough fuel to make you happy. All right. All right. Screw him. He can live. You want some Hilton? He just wants to call you. Okay. I don't want anybody to call me that. I'd feel so uncomfortable if somebody called me that. Like, not as like chat trolling, but like if I ever dated somebody and they called me that, I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, I would be so off put by that. I forgot I still had metal music in the background too. You need to understand, it wasn't my decision to shut down Ariadna. I don't blame you, Grace, but I still think it's a mistake. It's so much more than Pandora. It allows us to step into the realm of human memories and thoughts into the real world. What can I tell you, Eagle? The board decided it wasn't financially viable. It was too outlandish. Okay. Ah, the fools! Every object is a natural dosimeter. Oh, Everything dosimeters. absorbs radioactive particles throughout its life, thus creating an echo in time and space. Ariadna can recreate this echo in a fractal VR simulation. There's nothing outlandish about it. Look, I get it. I do. It's your life's work. But just think about it. Those dosimeters, chat. Can't the trust them. The process requires an unbelievable amount of power. It's impractical at this stage. What about those nuclear nano-diamond batteries that use the oh, graphite the from recycled batteries. radioactive waste? That's just yeah. another project what right now, Igor. I still don't think it would be enough for Ariadna to work. You need a power source that doesn't exist yet. Perhaps one that cannot be found on Earth. But yeah. we need a lot of power. I'm sorry, Igor. It's to over. Power area you grande. need to accept it and move on. Oh. Fuck the board. I'm not going to let anyone destroy my work. Wake up. Wake up, Igor. Tanya? Is this a dream? Uh, well, I'm waiting so. for you, my love. Find me. Hurry. I don't have much time left. I'm trying, Tanya. I really am. The first clue. When I find more, I can feed the data to Ariadna and see what really happened to Tanya. So I have two out of four facts and one clue. Note to self. Focus on finding more clues. Okay. Somebody's gonna say some weird shit. Here hey, we go. Hello? Fuck! Is anyone there? Mikhail! Are you okay? Not really. I'm fucking stranded in the building I blew up. And there's something. Something else is here. Hurry! You're gonna need a gas mask. Now look in the building next to the monument. I'm sure a bright fellow like you will find it right away. Should have thought about the barrels earlier. And this gas, it's intense. It's making me hear things, see things. Or it could just be the drugs he's on. 
Regardless, I can't just leave him there. What the fuck is that? It's trying to get me! Help! Can you see the smoker on the Duggar radar? I'm pretty sure that's your new best friend, Mikhail. Let's do this. The exclusion zone changes under the influence of your decisions and the progress you're making. If you can see more helicopters in the sky and more NAR patrols in the field, be better prepared for combat. You're bound to meet more soldiers with better equipment during your mission. If you can see more Chernobylite around the power plant, the chances of encountering more and stronger monsters increases. Monsters? Passage of time also expects the exclusion zone to become more and more radioactive. Decreasing amount of Chernobylite particles in the air increases the frequency of Chernobylite storms. Build special machines in the zone to counteract these forces of nature or completely reverse them. All right. There's something right here called a monster hunt, and I'm intrigued. So let me, let me send 86%, 80% here. All right, he has a 99%. I'm going to assign him to this to get um, ammo again. And then me. I'm going to go for the monster hunt. You know what? We, should we go to the residential district? Or should we go to Kopachi? And we're going to go monster hunting. Which, which one should we do? Residential or Kopachi? Good talk. We're going Kopachi then. Because I like saying the name. That's right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Oh, what's up, dude? Oh, I I was going for monster. There's two monster hunting missions. One was in the was one was in the residential district. The other one was in Kopachi, and I just like saying the other one, so I wanted to go to it. Could at least have waited. I am very impatient, and I'm on a lot of energy drink. Okay. Odin, how is um? I see you've been playing a lot of Dead Side. How's that going? I popped here and there, but I'm normally lurking or doing something, so. I normally, I lurk in so many people's streams and I just don't say shit half the times because normally I'm busy, but I'm always like, if I say hi, I'm gonna get dragged into like a 25 minute conversation and I'm not gonna get shit done on the computer. I'm like, I will get zero work done while I'm sitting here interacting, <laughs> so. Like my buddy Flavor that I, I put, um, that, um, what's it called? Good. Uh, I played a beta game with him not too long back, and, uh, Flavor, like, I went to his chat the other day, and it was like a 10 or 11 day Twitch watch streak, you know? And he was like, God damn, I was like, I just, I just lurk a lot, man. You know, I was like, I have you, I have you up. But I just, I'm like, I just ain't saying shit. Like, I'm in here. I'm just not talking. And he just, he started laughing. Because, like, I know he gets it, too. You know what I mean? Like, we try to support, like, other streamers and shit like that on our downtime. But normally, like I said, it's just, you got other shit to handle. But it always helps out giving somebody, like, the lurk. You know what I mean? Let's go up to this place. I need to find gas, though, because I need to make another generator. You Stop can't burning hide my under your bed, Oleg. You're a big boy now. Yeah, Oleg. Tomorrow you're going to see your daddy. Oh, want to be a fireman like him? You're going to have to be brave then. What? Stop blinding me! Lockpick, okay. I just said this! We have to go. There's been an accident. We need to evacuate the children and staff. 
Buses from all over the country are coming to pick everyone up. Hurry! But I, I can't just leave the kindergarten unattended. No discussions, please. You'll thank us later. I'm... Lena, your husband works in the power plant, right? No, I... I'm having some weird dreams lately. I, I must be tired, is all. I could, I could do without that. I could do it. I could do without getting blinded every time. Oh my god. And I'm in like such a small room that like that is that's the whole room lit up. That is the whole room. <laughs> Where are you going, Tanya? Look at this place, Igor. It's so peaceful. Empty, but peaceful. Not a soul in sight. <laughs> That's okay with me. I'm not really a people person. <laughs> I know. I wonder how you're going to get through our wedding with all those guests. How many guests? <laughs> Don't worry, silly. You'll be fine. Odin, the other day when I was in there, um, I think a proto was streaming. And then I think uh, he raided over, but I already had your tab up. And um, I was in there, and I said, like, what's up? And I was like, what the fuck? When did Odin make me a mod? I was like, I, did, I had no idea until I typed something. And I was like, was this like a year or two ago? Like, do I not remember? I was like, I don't remember shit. Okay, so there's nothing else in there except for the door I couldn't break open. And like the blinding. I think all the blinding lights confused me, so I forgot what I was doing there. Okay, so let's try to get the fuck out of there. Excuse me? I did it without swinging! I feel very ill-equipped. What am I stuck on? A fucking tree? Um, to fight a monster with a pistol. And I didn't take any pistol damage, like, upgrade. I took sneaky stuff. So I think a lot of what I'm doing here is dumb. But you guys already know that about me. So it shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Oh. Gaslighted Igor. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get I'm gonna get shit on. Help! Please! Help! You're next! You almost got got, bro, homie. He just said you're next to me. I got booze. I need fuel though. But yeah, Dead Sides, that's the Dead Sides a good game. I played it once. Um and I was on my Shit, someone's behind me. Someone's behind me. Who's there? Nobody. Um, I was on my 2080 or whatever. And, like, I, that almost fried my computer. I remember I was trying to stream it. It was one of my, like, first streams on YouTube. And, um... I remember my PC got so hot, I had to end that so fast. Yeah, all good. No worries, Fallen. 
I made you a mod after getting affiliate because I remembered a convo that you sent me and I had about making people a mod and they get surprised by chat and stream. Like I said, I completely forgot. But again, here's the thing, is you didn't stream forever in a fucking day, so... Um, it was a very good excuse on why I don't remember. Is that fuel? That's what I needed. That's fuel. Like, you went off the grid for so long that, yeah, I don't... Um, is that a TV remote? Got all this loot shit. I just can't leave. I can't leave it. Splinter, the KGB operator's nickname. Ooh. <laughs> I'll probably never know who he really was. So that was a clue, which is good for me because that would be clue t two. Two out of seven? I'm figuring out what happened to Tatiana. Ah. Shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh my god. Did you not? This thing's gonna kill me. Holy shit. Is that the demon I'm supposed to kill? I think it was kicking the shit out of me. Where's Foofy? Who the fuck is Foofy? That's that note. Where'd it go? I'm gonna get destroyed here. I should have. Do I still have the shotgun? I don't think I have any ammo for it though. I have no ammo. Shit. Okay, told y'all I was very ill prepared for this. Igor, it's not the end. I won't let it end like this. Go, die, fade, portal, help, die. That kills you in three hits, Igor. basically. God damn. It just restarts me on that mission. Is that what happened? Don't be afraid to die. Death is a natural part of the progress and can let you get out of a situation with no way out. However, in the future, death will be punished with a loss of random items, so you won't always benefit from it. Time. What is time, Igor? You act like I wanted it to get destroyed there. Like, I wasn't trying to get murdered. Is it a straight line? An arrow fired at the dawn of creation, moving steadily towards infinity? A huh? universal constant that cannot be altered? What? Or is it something much more? A fourth dimension that can change? Slowing down, speeding up, even something that can take the form of cosmic strings, infinite, full of mass and energy, bending reality and space, going on forever? You arrived at your base wounded and scarred, but you didn't know the correct password for Olivier. Go ahead, Igor. Change the past. Hands where I can see them. What's the password? Nostalgia. We don't have time for games, Olivier. Can't you tell it's me? Huh? You pick the password. Let's just stick to the rules, shall we? Come on in. What? And if you could change any of your decisions. What? I don't even know what I did. Huh? Would it be like going back in time? 
Or would it create an alternate universe? What this is, going is your on? chance to rethink the decisions you've made. A chance to reshape the fabric of space-time reality. A chance to alter your timeline. We can be together, Igor, but you have to learn the truth if you truly want to find me. Oh, I did print screen. Oops. I wanted to do this. I wanted I want to take a screenshot and I hit print screen instead. Each crystal represents a memory you can alter. Use your past and future knowledge to turn the situation into your advantage. Mikhail wanted you to wipe out the NAR servers, but you chose to look for more information so I can about me instead. Change any mission I've ever done. But I need to get crystals in order to do it. So if I make really terrible decisions in a lot of these missions, I guess I can go back and change them and rewrite time. No, he's talking about me falling, seeing as how I got owned and saying that I'm horrible for the zombie apocalypse because I got destroyed in like four shots. Oh, you know what sucks too is I'm not wearing armor. These events have not happened yet as the future is not predetermined. Come back later, Igor. Very wibbly wobbly, timely wimely stuff. Yes. Oh no. But this is kind of a cool aspect. So if you do something you think you screwed up on, you can come back here after you get all your stuff. And it's actually really cool. Um, I guess redo the whole mission, which is, I guess, wildly crazy. But that looks like this, every single one of these, it looks like every storyline. Like, let me go through the back of this here. It looks like every single one of these is like a plot mission. It's not the side quest missions that you can do to get like ammo and bullshit and things like that. Um, it looks like since I did like the one to go help Mikhail or whatever, that's that mission. All these other ones, those aren't going to be like the ammo drops or the resupply missions that I'm like doing and stuff like that. So I feel like all of these are legitimate plot points of the game. So that's like 20 something, give or take, storyline missions, I would say, to beat the game. Which is pretty cool. This game is really interesting. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. And then if you screw it up, you can go back and fix it. As long as you have like the, the correct cr crystals, which I think you need to make the station at the base. So you do have to do a lot of grinding on the side missions to just get loot to be able to make the stations and then make the cool shit to mine stuff and blah, blah, blah. So what I think I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna end here, here in a, a few minutes so I can go make something to eat. And I realized I need to do laundry while I went and took a piss because my laundry basket was in there and I was like, shit, I have to do adult things. So, yeah, whatever. Um, I feel like I'm gonna just grind this off stream. Is anyone streaming dead side? Um, I, I did a long time ago. It was one of my beginning streams. I haven't, I haven't really tried dead side out. Um, since um I haven't really tried Dead Side out since it almost blew my computer up. That's why I ended up getting the 30 like the 3080 Ti in my PC because I thought it was gonna blow up. Okay, so it shows the pictures I have. See what's up? I'm just getting ready to end here for the day. So those I have four pictures here. So I'm missing, okay, so it actually shows the map that you can find a map too. So this is at the port. Okay, okay. And then I found one, one picture at Kopachi. So I feel like I have to get those too. So you have to do a lot of exploration on this to get everything. So. 
And then it did pick up my second clue there. So even though I did die, it did pick this up. Which is kind of cool, because that was from the map I just failed. And then that's my head unit. I want, I, want, I want to see one thing. Did it bring back the gas I needed to make another generator? I'm trying to see. It, it did say, like, I got a freebie there. Look at that. It gave me a freebie. But it said in the future. Um... It said in the future it was going to cost me items, so I figured that now, like, anytime you die after this, you're going to lose stuff that's in your inventory. So this should make that TV work. Maybe not? I don't know. But yeah, like I said, this has a huge Fallout vibe to it, which is really cool. Um, hey! Hello! Fuck! Mikhail! Nice! Oh. What? Okay, so he's just going through the same thing. Um, it's been fun. Yeah, I mean, it's a really cool game. Like I said, I've never touched this one. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. Uh, but like I said, I want to do a lot of the stuff off off key here. And then Can you when, see the smoke around the dug. Like when I get back to having a little more, so it's not just a whole stream about me grinding. Was it scary? No, not really. I mean, there's a couple. Um, like kind of like jump scare things in it but you're kind of in battle ready mode in your head so uh, nothing that's completely made me scream out of context so far today but the whole premise of it is is really cool uh but yeah 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna go get some food is it for console let me check PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series XS. So, those, it, it, yeah, it's console. It's console as well. So, yeah, and all that came out in 20, 2021 and 2022. So, everything should be out right now. So, this game, uh, let me check on Steam. Right now, I have something called the Enhanced Edition, um, but it says that this game came out July 28th of 2021. So I don't know when the Enhanced Edition came out. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 what I have. Plus, they have DLCs and stuff like that that you can get for the game too. So yeah, like I said, this game it looks like it can take, you know, t like 12, 20 hours. You know what I mean, give or take on all the side stuff you do. Unless you just keep picking side missions and just try to get every person humanly imaginable so you have like a fortress of it. So, like I said, I'm going to take off. Thank you guys for hopping in. Thank you for the gifted gifted stuffs and the things. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all being here. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to stream next. I think Taco's doing something tomorrow. And um, I don't know about Olaf. I don't know if this will be my next stream because you know me, I like to mix it up. And um, I might just be playing this a lot on my side, my side time here. And then when I, like I said, when I'm in a mood where I think I could go and destroy monsters and not get decimated, I feel like I'll, I'll pull you guys back in for it. So uh, if you like the game, check it out. It's in the description. And um, 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 I guess I will just, I'll, t I'll talk to you all soon. I see. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.